<laughs> It'd be best asked then, maybe. <laughs> no, but it, it's been seven years in the making that we saw what we said the, the last time. So that also uh, holds for everything that's happened uh, inside the, the camp. Um, and really designing it from uh, the bottom up together with uh, drivers. So uh, customer panels that include the drivers as well as uh, fleet owners to really get their input on what would make an ideal cap for them in terms of economics, safety and comfort. Mm -hmm. And it seems like there's a lot of customization options as well that will be available not only to drivers in real life, but also in your truck simulator too here, as we can see in the mirror, clicking through uh, lots of different options here. And uh, Oscar, great to see you, by the way. Good to, ha to have you with us now and, and working on the camera. Um, you also had a big part to play uh, and also the, you know, bringing the, the DAF into your truck simulator too as well. And, uh, you know, what can also the players expect and, uh, to see you know, um, players from, some from some of the other changes as well here on the DAF truck? Right, so I think with this new XF update, uh, we've added a new, I mean, it's a very small thing, but we've added a new, new variant of the door handle, as you can see now, I think, um, that is half painted and half plastic, I mm -hmm. think. Um, that's something we saw, uh, that's something that's new for this update. Um, and also, I think the big news, other than the fact that the XF has been updated uh, and comes with the Curbview mirror, is that there are now six by two uh, chassis options. So oh, you right. can you can have a look at that, um, and it it's quite unique because this is the first time we'll have uh, an option with a steered trailing axle. So that's the okay. FTN that you see below. Um, if you try that, you can see that it's a single. Uh, tag axle at the rear that steers. I think that's the first uh, time we have something like that in the game. And of course, with that, we also have the FTS, which is the regular uh, 6x2, as many players would know it by. So these are the two um, three axle kind of configurations that's offered by Duff, as far as we know. And uh, yeah, so, so it's something new that comes with this update as well. That's really great to see, and I'm sure the players uh, are already out there enjoying it as it has already uh, been released uh, to your truck simulator too. That's right, if you haven't been made aware already via our blog, uh, blog.scsoft.com, uh, it has actually been updated into your truck simulator too already, so you can get out there and, and start driving it. But still, you know, stick with us because we've got lots to go through here uh, with uh, DAF uh, trucks as well. And one thing here that's quite uh, noticeable as well, the little uh, smaller chassis here as well, which a lot of people have already noted and seem to enjoy across our social media as well. Uh, and lots of our players and the community already in the chat saying, you know, how much they, they love the look of this truck. It's a beautiful truck. Um, they, they like the, the designs of it. And I gotta say, it's a very sleek and modern looking truck. When you look at it on the road, when you look at the grill and, and the design of it, it is, it is very modern. And it's one that almost like turns heads, uh, I, I, would, I would definitely say. And uh, Marie, would you say you have kind of the same sort of reaction when you have people come take a look at it? Oh, definitely. We've uh, I've had the pleasure of uh, uh, driving our uh, demos for quite some uh, kilometers to, together with our uh, demo driver. Um, and yes, at each gas station that we would uh, pull over, uh, drivers would be climbing into the cab to, to have a look, <laughs> to take a closer look up front. Um, also, if you pass it on the, the highway, um, I mean, it shines beautifully in the sun, but even if it's maybe kind mm. of a rainier day, then still, I mean, you notice it immediately, the wonderful golden color, uh, the, the new look, the modern look, it definitely turns heads. I can imagine it does. And what were some of the sort of, you know, reactions or things that people were saying when you were, when you were at those truck stops? Could we get a little bit of an insight of what some of the drivers were impressed most by? I would say the direct vision, as you mentioned. So really the direct view from uh, from the cab is the first thing they uh, they notice. Uh, but also uh, the ergodynamics. Uh, so um, if you see kind of um, the steering wheel, it's very intuitive. It's almost like a pass car in terms of, um, uh, kind of maneuvering the, the vehicle so you have everything with regards to kind of uh, uh, steering uh, with regards to entertainment on the left with regards to uh, steering of the vehicle on the sorry entertainment on the right steering of the vehicle on the on the left so also the adaptive cruise controls and all these uh, functionalities uh, mm -hmm. third item that they always mention is uh, the ample of space that they have so you can see uh, if you look at the, the, the surfaces that they have to put their you know 
private belongings uh, all within reach uh, from behind the steering wheel. That is definitely a, a third comment that they uh, that they make. I, I mean, I had the, the pleasure of being uh, at Daft Trucks uh, facility in Haddenham yesterday and I had the, the pleasure of actually climbing inside the cab of, uh, of the uh, new uh, 2021 DAF XF and you're right the space is incredible it's the first thing I noticed when I got in there you can stand up in there quite easily uh, with no you know with plenty of headspace to kind of to, to spare there as well and of course you know the digital dashboard and the, the functionalities there it seems all very in intuitive you know you could really pick it up very quickly where everything is you know it's all on hand for you to use while you're driving um, and also little little features that stood out to me as well uh, in the real life model uh, for example um, where they even included like uh, Apple CarPlay and a wireless charging spot as well yeah. uh, for the phones which is which is fantastic you know it's all built with the driver in mind which is really really great to see and uh, these changes that are coming on with the, uh, the 2021 DAF XF as well uh, as well just bring a combination of technology and safety together from DAF which is really really great um, and Pavel I'd love to get your reactions uh, on you know bringing the 2021 DAF XF in game of course it's always exciting to cooperate uh, with uh, DAF uh, on these uh, updates yeah well for me um, more than like technically technology details <coughs> about the vehicle is like the strategic thing of cooperation with with manufacturers and you know once again being uh, part of the of the real world of, of transportation mm -hmm. industry uh, the XF was like, like a little debt that we, when we introduced the XG and XG Plus, it was really in a, in a rush. We had like such a tight deadline to, to make it till the, the, till the announcement. Our team did a fantastic job, but the XF with the alternate chassis options and, and extra details was left for a little bit of time, like, like what we thought for an extra bit of time until we are ready with it. Ultimately, for reasons that we'll probably get to, we took a long, longer time than we anticipated to finally get it into the game, but the day is now, is here, and it's very exciting to, to finally you know, have it kind of done and dusted and move on to, to the next challenges, because of course this is not by far the last vehicle that we'll be adding to the game, so to the games. So mm. it's, it's an important milestone, and it's a, it's a little bit of a relief that we, that we managed, because there will be like more announcements today of how it fits into the whole scheme of things that that's happening here. Absolutely, yeah. We'll be talking a little bit more about the uh, the, the DAF drive a, a little bit later on. But Nimiro is taking it out on the roads of your truck simulator too. And uh, Nimiro, have you had the chance to get behind the wheel for, for the first time here, or is, have you this, given it a little bit before the stream? This is actually my first time for for this. It is new. <laughs> And how, how, what are your first reactions, Nimiro? It's amazing. I, I uh, oh, wait a second. I want to test the, the safety window uh, on, the, on the door, mm. on the passenger door. So I need there was to... also a request on the chat if we can do the digital mirrors versus the, like these yes. traditional ones. Mm -hmm. If you can still one set it up that way, I don't know. But if you are out of the... No, I, I, I would... The, here is a truck. Uh, service right there, so just give me a few seconds. No problem. We will, we I think I think yeah. if we, I think if we get there, uh, maybe I can mention there were two additional things I think added for this uh, okay. update, and sure. that also includes if you go to the chassis options again, you will see that there is also a new four by two option that's slightly shorter, and that's mm -hmm. exclusive for the. XF, uh, <laughs> so it just makes it for a cute, mm -hmm. I guess, a cute <laughs> truck, uh, a smaller one. Obviously, it, it helps with maximizing, I guess, the, the trailer length um, and maneuverability. Mm. So, so that's something new. And also for this uh, XF cabin, I guess, if you go into the interior options, you would see that there is an additional trim level that wasn't there because the XG and XG plus has a different option. So yeah, now we have all yeah three. I think you'll see that. Yeah, there are three, there are three options instead of two for the XG. There's a more, uh, I would say a more basic, I wouldn't say basic, um, a more uh, fleet kind of uh, focused mm. interior option that's also added. Yeah. 
Mm. I love the colors of those interior there. It looks almost luxury yeah. and uh, yeah, it fits the, the, the trimming so well there and everything. It looks great. <laughs> looks really really nice and chat as well commenting on the uh, on the the chassis option there the smaller chassis option uh, everyone giving it a little bit of a, a nickname in the chat calling it the baby daff xf <laughs> that's what they're calling it in the chat right now <laughs> i'm not sure if daff would ever want to use that for their official title you're more than welcome to but um but yeah no the, the chassis options there are, are great to have and always a welcome addition uh for these as well and um also there again with the additional mirrors and the safety window as well let's see how it looks from the interior and uh yeah again the digital dashboard is such a, a standout feature to me as well and i know oscar you're very familiar with uh, digital dashboards within uh, with our game and uh, did you have much of a role to play in, in the creation of this one or yeah i i did so i i guess i guess the great thing is that we had a very close contact with people at daft mm. uh Actually, the UI designer for for the entire uh, digital dashboard interface. So we got a lot of help from from her and her, her team. Uh, so we've managed to get most of the graphics looking, I, I would say, looking very accurate and and true to the real truck. Um, so yeah, the the digital dashboard was a first for our game, and we're quite proud of what we've done. And obviously there were some optimizations. Yeah, the new made, trunk um, looks good. To, to make things more legible in the um, game. I'm just going to do some changes in my game. Uh, um, so, I need to. Yeah, we, we, I we didn't have to close down the game actually. I need to deactivate them. that mod that fantastic. changes the duff into a racing monster. I really need to change so that. It must be quite uh, interesting for you to kind of compare the, the virtual and, and the real life. One. And I'd say personally, from my own experience yesterday in having them with that truck, so very, very similar. And the detail is really uh, great to We're see. We're going to deactivate uh, the, uh, that mod again. Otherwise, I'm oh, not yeah, able definitely. to show you yeah, guys like properly said, the, the, um, the level of detail uh, that you guys have captured. It really is as if you are driving the vehicle in terms of, uh, like you said, uh, the interior, see. the dashboard, uh, here the, the, the modern version. Let's deactivate um, this as well for now. In the real life I'll wait for an update. No, especially, yeah. especially we'll with the digital cameras. That's confirm changes. Impressive. It is, and uh, I mean, those are very, very interesting. A couple of hours ago, two hours ago, I think, Max, we got this and new they, truck they really are like as an update. Kind of such a, a great overview and, uh, of you know the outside area, and really uh, helps drivers kind of eliminate the blind spots when they're when they're driving. And um, I've never actually experienced being in the truck with uh, those digital mirrors before, uh, as well. And um, it's so 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 good um it's really interesting to see the angles that you can play with there and uh how clear and how much clarity there is no matter the weather we had a bit of a rainy day actually yesterday and they worked absolutely great yeah. even in the rainy weather so Nimuro, yes. coming in to get your first job is that is that correct here in, in the industry yes sir yes sir all right we'll get it we'll get a, a trailer attached for for sure for sure uh, but yeah, let us know your folks. Uh, uh, let us know your thoughts, uh, folks, in the chat about the XF uh, DAF twenty twenty one. We'd love to hear your first initial thoughts on it. Have you had a chance to test, test drive it yourself? Um, let us know if you enjoy the new options that have come for it, and if you have any questions uh, as well for any of our guests uh, here as well in the studio at the time. It seems like a lot of you enjoying it. We get a lot of good, uh, positive feedback, and a lot of people enjoying. Uh, the XF 2021 in game uh, as well. And uh, people saying the new DAF XF 2021 looks really great and slick. I love that. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. DAF Drive is amazing. We'll try it in game later. We will definitely talk about DAF Drive a little bit later uh, as well. But first of all, I did want to just touch on the fact that um, possibly we can, we can kind of talk about it a little bit a little bit of a teaser for future yeah the truck really looks good uh, man uh, i'm not a deaf fan but you, uh, since they came with the xg the xg bit, plus uh, and now this uh, um, baby deaf x um, um yeah truck looks deaf good yes, yes, trucks uh, look good for, for really our range here on your truck simulator too which is very very exciting yeah we have the pleasure of having all three uh let's say of uh, the demos uh, now since a couple of weeks um, proudly displaying it to our to our customers. So uh, yes, it was uh, easy to arrange to uh, get the sound recordings uh, with us as we have all three trucks here. Wonderful, and we, we look forward to kind of bringing those as an update in the future 
in your check simulator 2 of course bringing these uh, realistic updates uh, uh, to our game is important to us and um, Pavel, I imagine that's quite exciting for you to hear as well. Yeah, well, we have been essentially grounded for quite a while when it comes to recordings and any, any public mm -hmm. events of any kind. So finally getting into gear again and, and doing, preparing the, another sound recording session should like complete the experience for the vehicles because we had to take some temporary measures to get them into the game. Now, finally, we will catch up with this data too and have it all complete. So. So the sound engineer is also looking forward to, to finally jumping on. The well, situation is still not great. I mean, the travel and everything mm -hmm. is still risky. The world is still definitely not out of trouble. But these little glimpses of hope are very optimistic that we'll be catching up. And the next year may hopefully <laughs> be better in this regard. Yeah, I mean, it'd be really great to bring that all together to kind of have the complete experience there. Uh, with DAF trucks and of course it's great to hear that you have all those demo trucks now. I uh, heard they were actually all delivered quite recently. I didn't realize when I had the pleasure of uh, going to Haddenham yesterday for DAF trucks that they'd only just gotten their uh, truck in the kind of the front of their reception there, the, the newer model, uh, just on Friday. So it's all very, very recent that they've been uh, getting those around uh, the countries and at different facilities as well. And um, no, very excited for everybody to kind of experience it uh, within your truck simulator to as well. Hey there, guy. What's uh, seen? Oscar, it Thanks quite, for the like, the uh, mate. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Kind of I'm going to put the SES uh, stream in the uh, corner a little bit. I'm going to um, have a look yeah, at the truck absolutely. myself. You know, you know, when DAF approached us, we are uh, going to buy one, one a so brand new surprise, DAF obviously, XF. Because we, obviously, we didn't know anything about the new truck really cool. out, and you know, uh, <clears throat> what kind of innovations that it I don't know why these things are now. We started working with DAF. No idea. Maybe August of 2020. So All mods death related are ago, uh, disabled. So this is a new XF, guys. Building a truck is not I easy. need to uh, open up my and, and in in the virtual world as well. So we've got a lot of help from them. Uh, that was really Let's open up my tablet. Communication between both sides. It was just fantastic I can to see the chat Dark as well and, when I'm to bring everything to the game uh, as much as possible to you know give our players the best experience of what the DAF has to offer to, to you know, basically showcase the, the, the best of the best, the newest, uh, the newest in, in trucks and, and I guess the European truck of the year as well. So, so I think it's, it's great. Um, we really look forward to, to more cooperation with DAF and hopefully the entire PACA group as well. Yeah, I could not agree more. And uh, yeah, we, we couldn't thank. Uh, it just looks good, man. And everyone involved over at DAF, truck looks uh, good. For, for That's a fact. And, and approaching us Let's as well. uh, have and a look. Maybe we could just quickly run through, kind of do a bit more of like an, you know, a simpler explanation for those who this are is not Duff aware of how kind of XF. The process works. Uh, of how brand you new these trucks into the game kind of what the process step by step is you know from beginnings like you said from the and uh, we're going to uh, have a look what the possibilities are with this uh, wonderful truck right, so, so the biggest change so I, I, I guess <laughs> i should be the one talking about let's this. see the cabins uh, so, no uh, the wheelbase well basically hey. it starts with we like do have something to say about the wheelbase uh, so look we have, we have this agree with the lawyers uh, from the manufacturers, what kind of trucks we want to put into the game. Uh, what we have an FT. There are, um, what kind of information, data, or help oh, we can provide to look us. At that. So, in the case of DAF, it was obviously very simple. We see something uh, here. The length. They wanted, you know, they wanted us to to have this truck in the game. We were obviously very happy to to. Oh, the wheelbase. Here we go. This so is a wheelbase of three thousand seven hundred and sixty-six. Yeah. Was, was Hey, Seaman, Seaman, good and, evening, um, buddy. Uh, How are you, mate? You Everything really all right? To I hope. It's been a while, buddy. So, the effective wheelbase here with the first the FT version is uh, 3,766 uh, millimeters. And we would take the other FT, 3,989, which is slightly longer. But this is really a mini truck. This is really a mini truck, mate, for in the city. 
mini truck and then we have the FTS so we finally have double axle combinations which I already told you guys that it was going to come together with the new DAF XF so I don't know if those double axles are now available on the XG and XG plus as well that is something we have to look into but we do have them for the XF we wouldn't know to so we have uh, this cars, one uh, and we have and I think, this one I think this, um, this was really important to us this time and, uh, um, it was, it what was are the proper names so this is a 6x4 or is this 6x8 and this is a 6x4 uh, I don't know I always forget that, how it goes uh, that we that we have to focus well, on let's small, go with so, a mini one. So in the end, I think we um, want a mini one. Hoppa. This is probably <laughs> one of our most accurate truck, if not the let's most have a mini truck, one. Uh, that we, we have brought to the game. Hey, good and evening, Simon. How are you doing, Mike? Interested, interesting to mention that actually How's life treating you? Internal here, but like, yep. Um, the engines we have here is um like maximum of 530. Horsepower, 390 kW, uh, we, we had to give the, the rest of the company 1400 RPM. So we had a secret code word for the project yeah. because we didn't want to, you know, even like leak somehow accidentally the uh, the numbers, the, the, the any any names there or we go. for what is, what is happening. We have the different so uh, cabins, which this, is like, secret data. We had to keep looking it like this. We had to keep it protected. We, or we to, you know, Argenta. Like, Looking like this, sort of to make it. and I'm like, like <laughs> or Natura, or out there in the wild. That Looking we can like this with the wood, we can with the wooden ledges here. Um, with the XG and the XG Plus, we also have the wood here. Apparently, with the XF, we don't get the wood over there. No, we don't get the wood over there. Engineering team, really getting it right, and it looks like we succeeded. What is going to be yeah, cool though is with customization that, uh, options, just not, not just cat data alone. We, and that I is what I was waiting for for the uh, Duff XF and, uh, is the um, are the windows the that we are going so to have the in the in the doors. The got, uh, I think That's going to be cool. Small metal piece, uh, basically. Cat Van Dorn. Uh oh, she found us so again. Color match it, uh, Tell well, her I'm here. As, as best as we could and uh, for things like this is the, the material on 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 the bunker so there has to be a way seat, we we got swatches to swatches like put windows in here you see when you shop for a sofa so oh right gotcha got yeah like a little, like, yeah. Almost like a little <laughs> yeah. Bit, but for the different yeah exactly there has so, to be a so way to got, put windows in there well. so, um, we'll see how we yeah, are going to be able to do that um the main mirrors so we can still go for cameras which i want to do to be honest but also the mirrors are brand new so you can now see the opening between the big mirror and the small mirror which is also part of the xg and the xg plus um and that is from the inside you can easily look between those two mirrors and you have and more view so the windows are bigger side windows the front window and, uh, Pavel, all bigger ask, actually, uh, and this hole between the big and the small mirror uh, is so made to have a better view to, to see of what's happening on the street of, you know details that we're putting into the trucks you know from from the humble beginnings you know now we're working very closely with all Knuckle the, uh, the different truck what? manufacturers and uh, especially with DAF here as well, um, to create I'm a level of detail that's not really been seen before in your truck simulator too. Well, it, it's always exciting to see the progress through the years. Here we have the panels. The other hand, of course, Exclusive you know the is plastic. I don't get it. I don't want that. Complain about things taking more time. Uh, when when I came back to your truck one, let's say, we had a vehicle built maybe like in a couple of weeks. Now we take months and months and all that with references real world materials provided to us because all, all the level of detail has has grown so much that and the complexity is growing and all the various areas of the vehicle that are simulated all the various animations inside the cab all the various parts that make the whole kind of family of vehicles together the alter, alternates uh, 
door handles or, or mirrors or whatnot. All this uh, increases the complexity a ton. So there's always like excitement and a little bit of a frustration to overcome <laughs> to actually get a new vehicle up and running. On top of it, you have to have all the various pains that come, you know, through the, through the uh, game that has to be have to be re-implemented re for the vehicle. So it's it's a it's a complex project that involves a lot of people uh, to get a new truck into the game. It's always exciting and it's always like one more to go, but before you know it, another manufacturer comes up with another vehicle. So it's like never ending, never ceasing. But uh, that's, that's what we are here what, for. Um, what um exciting. What the CEO yeah, and, is the, saying the, right the, now, the, I, I don't really the, get the that. That uh, people are complaining that it takes long to come so with a new truck or something. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, new features, it takes uh, as long as they well, need to. Really to I, I have Again, one more question. Sorry, sorry, sure, Alex. Sure, go for it. I have re noticed it a couple of times in, in the They chat. are coming I with new content so fast, so and quickly. Maybe we can remind myself and our, our some of our viewers, hmm. there is hmm. like a whole panel of vehicles. We initially got them the XG and XG+. Yes. Plus. There's mm -hmm. a new yes. XF. How do these relate together? How, how is the family structured, maybe? We can ask, ask our expert how... Yeah, I saw some questions already in the chat. What are the, the differences? Well, sure. if we were to, let's say, have the three vehicles next to each other... Uh, I'm fine. It's very busy at work right room. now, so and I'm going front. crazy with it. And how are you doing? And the wife and the kids. Is it a bit longer than the last time I see you? Uh, it's longer again, yeah. I'm uh, going to let it grow again. Although... Under I think window, last time you so saw me, the um, uh, hmm. uh, on that spot, it has so been shorter than last time you saw me. Oh, uh, I, I had it cut like really short the, for those uh, stupid face masks that we have to wear. But now I'm like, XG fuck it. I miss my long beard. I really miss my long, long beard. At a certain time, I, I, it was pretty long already, and it's a pity that I cut it off back then the but it's growing again uh, it's one thing we're certain of that keeps um, growing even so if you're really dead so we've, um, <laughs> it will come back our, it's possible that it's longer than last time you saw me um everything is going all right i guess large gentlemen can easily actually we are all healthy nobody has uh, our good um, friend caroni on board the, so XG and XG Plus comparison to the it's all good, I guess. As, so let's say the, the cabbage larger, more spacious. Uh, there is things uh, for asking. The flat, uh, and the bottom. wife, I don't know. The tunnel in between the driver, I gave her a kick, uh, and she's living uh, in the, the in the garden shed. A, a I forgot to look for the last two months, so I don't know. Again, this extra uh, space <laughs> uh, to the driver uh, for maneuverability. No idea. Um, additionally, <laughs> in real life, uh, another difference is that on the XGXG Plus, you can have... And then the uh, normal the daily uh, healthy struggles uh, the bed is an 80 with the bag really like and the missus with... The um, at home. Um, so these are, I think, some um, of the significant uh, differences. Everything, uh, she sa the shouts. The hips and everything, well, and the hands, and getting old, I guess. Okay. Somebody is not happy with that Marie statement. So yeah, that getting old. It's really uh, helpful to know not only for us but also for for our players. Hey, there are no uh, side well. skirts uh, for this like said, chassis. Version what? Of the dash trucks, you can really, you know. Feel the space in them. Like you, do like we have said, side like, skirts like for this chassis? Ah, uh, we do. Easily just move around. We do. Swivel seats as well. You know, you can kind of put your feet up and relax after a long day's hard work. And again, it's those little little extras that make a big difference for for the. Bearded drivers. dads are better. Uh, you know, <laughs> ah, you know it, my. You know it. <laughs> Last time I see you was in August, the and uh, then well, was just you know, around your man. Oh, yeah, sure, you did see it when it was short. Okay. Yeah, you did. You so, yeah, it's, it's already uh, this again. Uh, it goes pretty quick. Uh, especially in this I'm happy day that it goes pretty quick. Uh, the, the kind of demand for those kind of things, uh, you know. That's the only thing that... Definitely. I'm not going to finish that sentence because that was going to sound very weird. Yep. 
And this is why the, I guess you know originally when we I'm first not going brought, to finish uh, it. these trucks into your truck summits too, and also uh, with your slogan as well, you had the, uh, the the slogan "Start the future." Is that correct? It, um, so yeah, yes. Grows <laughs> fast, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah, and it, and it still rings true to this day. You know, still it grows uh, fast. Those upgrades uh, as we go with the driver in mind, and uh, Nimero. You're using some of the technology in game now with a digital dashboard and a digital mirrors there. How are you enjoying it and on the road of your truck Simulator 2? It's amazing, it's amazing. I'm still not used to have such a, <laughs> such space on... Oh, wait a second, I need to take my turn here. Hey, these are new tires. <laughs> AB70s, AB70s, AB 70s, AB 70s, 2020. What? Uh, I was about to say that I'm still not used to have such a you know huge visibility on the, on the side. So we have it's this. The, uh, and we have this. I thought that this was looking this different. On the, on the door, the safety window is cool as well. Yeah. I believe that it, it really brings the safety up to the whole new level. For example, for for any bicyclist uh, near the truck or or the cars, you know, that they are uh, next to the truck and, and stuff like that. I believe I believe it's 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 very it's very safe to use this window. Actually, you know, Nemiro, if you. If you manage to get to a service station later, I think you should choose the. Uh, I think there's a cinema seat yes. option. Yeah. Basically, you can. Oh, but for the bags, I don't have the, the AB seventies like at the front. Right wow. Now. Oh, okay. Let's see where we. Okay. Truck no, I, I don't have the AB seventies. Play the developer here and then just teleport myself <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I think that'd be a, a good idea. BB. I think that'd be a good idea. If you 2020. Get yourself to a service because that would be really interesting hmm. to see, just to kind of show off the, the visibility. That's weird. There, uh, off the the safety window because it does offer quite. Yeah. Uh, and with this weather, it's nice and warm. Nice and warm. Uh, driver, when you're looking and looking off to the right, you know. Nice and warm. Facing the cab, it does feel like it's quite far away, and so. You know, having all that extra visibility of the where are you chatting window, from window and as well nice and warm really enhances it's goddamn the cold driver, mate. but for everyone uh, too cold it's well, uh, in terms of like you said if you had a car or a bike no weather for pussies <laughs> I actually wanted to ask it's goddamn cold, cold outside mate this question how is it uh, ah being solved like from the good 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 Something that they can pull down so no one can see into the cabin through this uh, through this window. Yes, that, well, it was one of the worries that the driver said, "Well, I'll be now exposed with all this, you know, extra window all around me." Um, but yes, obviously with the curtains, they uh, they fully close. Uh, with if the customer chooses to have the uh, digital cameras, then an advantage is that you can uh, use it uh, as a safety precaution true, at night. True. So the um, curtains fold around the outside cameras mm. should the driver be in his bed and hear something and just want to check he can uh, put on the cameras um, by the uh, let's say with the panel that is next to the the bed right by uh, by his side so in, uh, in that sense it's also then a safety measure for the driver that he can check around his vehicle if anything is uh, going on mm. Okay. That's a really, really cool feature. I didn't even think about that, actually, you know. So you know, the, like um, the that cameras the road, that, can be that used are used for the mirrors, system, for the digital which, again, mirrors, about the safety are also the safety there. cameras um, and also, at night. Uh, or, well or yeah, that, you know, not at only at night, night but um can be used um, as normal cameras by the driver when he's yes, lying in bed that's cool it, um, early that's cool mornings when it's still dark uh, and visibility is it, it is indeed very clear on the on the cameras one of the concerns uh, some customers also ex uh, express is that they were worried that it would get maybe blicker when uh, other LED, led lights would be driving up uh, behind the the truck and it really doesn't it, it the view is, is continuously good also when it's a bit rainy like you experience so we do not have itself. the windows the here by these um, oh, so right, okay. that's why if there's let's say any rain fog it kind of melts away and no uh, arrow stays clear your beard keeps That's nice great. and warm. I mean, it seems like oh, okay. Hey, hey. You know, the camera would be heated, but it makes complete sense. And with this and, weather, uh, it's nice and know, warm. Weather, yeah, it's nice and warm cold, indeed. Yeah. Warm, you know, you need that clarity. The beard. That it does a lot, though. Um, having a beard or having no beard or a shorter beard. It changes a lot. Um, and Definitely you know, when you're uh, on a kind of bike. Option on now, don't you? So the side door mirrors are going to be I mean, it's, in it's these changes in the accessories the cabin accessories i guess let's have a look 
Yeah. yeah. It's a really great feature. Here we go. Cab the doors. Um, innovative one as well. Look at say, this. You know, not really seen before. So uh, this is the uh, new thing in the game. Yeah, this yeah, is the first yeah, Franken so game that has well. that. So it's really, really we can change it to uh, not only on the new version of Windows, of life, but also in our game. Really only for this different. side, of course. I and, think. Uh, Oscar, was there anything else that you wanted to mention about yeah. that? Because I think you're going to leave. Of course. Only for um, that side, really. and that way you can <laughs> no, have no, a look. Wanted, um, I just wanted to comment that. Oh, let's that, yeah, go to the outside the now. Uh, because, ah, uh, look, it was the window. To us when we were sending this for approval, that um, if you option the curb view mirror, the the seat came standard. So. Uh, so the window so that you can actually something. see if there is a it's bike next to you or pedestrians you know, or whatever you have a better view as a driver well. yep makes complete sense makes that's complete cool sense. and i imagine uh, many of our players uh, will all right well i've mentioned several times now that i had the opportunity to visit daft trucks uh, facility here in the united kingdom in, in haddenham uh, yesterday and uh, you might have seen a few little teaser posts mm, yeah, uh, across our social media that I tweeted. I was making a few people jealous uh, with me being up close with the new generation of trucks there, checking out the facilities that they have there. Uh, but what you may or may not know, um, you might have seen you have them in black leather and in who, uh, oak leather. Um, cool. I actually got the opportunity to uh, speak with a few of the people there from Daft Trucks. Oh, I'm going to have a look now. the facilities uh, there in Haddenham. And I also had the chance to get behind the wheel of uh, a daft xf as uh, well i'm going to have a look now which is really fantastic and we've actually put together a short video about that so i think if Nimo, if you're okay with it maybe you want to pull over and watch along okay. as well if you're going to continue okay. driving but it'll be great to, to get that video up and playing and for everyone to kind of check out the the experience that i had in Haddenham yesterday um you can see behind the scenes of the facility beard has there. many of those hidden perks <laughs> Yeah. Right, buddy, it hides half of yep. your ugly here face. <laughs> all right, here we go. Enjoy Makes you all of a sudden look cool. Hi everyone. Nowadays. Blackman here, community manager of SES Software. Today I have the privilege of being here in Haddenham in the United Kingdom at the DAF truck offices to take a look at the facilities here, take a look around and check out the new generation of DAF trucks. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Good morning, hey, Alex. How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you. So we're here inside the DAF offices here in the UK. I'm joined by Philip Moon, marketing manager here at DAF Trucks UK. Pleasure to have you here. Thank you for allowing me to come here. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Thank you very much. And if, for those who don't know about what you do here at DAF, maybe you can introduce yourself a little. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm marketing manager at, at DAF in the UK. Uh, and here at Haddenham, which is our UK head office, uh, we take care of the requirements of our customers in the UK and Irish truck markets. Um, here we uh, we look after the sales. Catty will understand. Yeah. Network of UK dealers uh, and the training <laughs> for our technicians as well. So it's quite a busy office. Um, we don't actually make trucks here, of course, but we do make trucks. Just going to follow this. Leyland trucks up in Lancashire. Right. Uh, It'd so be an interesting an piece, space, maybe, uh, hopefully. Uh, but also we have a training school for our training technicians. Well, fantastic. I'm very excited to take a look around and see what you have here. But first, before we take a look at the next generation in DAF trucks, should we walk through the history a little bit of what's happened here at DAF? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and it is a fascinating history. Um, the, the company actually originates from a small engineering company, um, which was initiated in 1928 uh, by Hoof van Dorn. Uh, he started uh, initially with a small engineering company. Oh, look. Quickly going on to it's Van trailers. Dorn. Uh, and it was after the second world who crafted war, the first DAF um, truck. The, the first trucks actually rolled out of the DAF factory. A, a new DAF factory was built in 1950 in Eindhoven, uh, still the home of DAF today, of course. Uh, and still, that factory is uh, is where uh, many thousands of trucks are produced every year. Uh, one bit of history that perhaps some people aren't aware of is the fact that DAF actually produced passenger cars. In fact, since between 1958 and the early... Yeah, the small uh, DAF cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, little DAF cars were produced, uh, and they were a very popular uh, car for families. Uh, and, of course, that really uh, established itself as a... As a, um, a DAF established itself as a very family-friendly company, uh, particularly within the Netherlands. 
Over the years, DAF developed its products, um, developing its own engines, and also uh, one of the milestones that, of course, is re very relevant to us in, in the UK is the, the first trucks were imported um, into the UK in 1966. And, and then DAF actually started to sell trucks in 1972 in an official capacity. And since then, of course, the company has grown considerably. And, uh, and now um, DAF is market leader in the UK. Uh, and in fact, has been market leader continuously for 27 years. So some record that's never been beaten. Fantastic. Well, it's so exciting to learn about DAF trucks here in the UK and obviously the history before it. And I can't wait to learn more. So I'd love to go see you know, the office a little bit more on the facilities you have here, if that's okay. Of course. Let's go. Wonderful. So we're here at our first stop in the DAF truck offices here in Haddenham. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about this room? It seems very impressive. It seems like a lot of people would gather here. Yeah, absolutely. This is our auditorium uh, and exactly this is what we do. Here we might have uh, customer events, we have dealer events, we have internal staff events. Of course, communication about uh, ideas, new concepts, new products is really important with any business uh, and this is a great environment to deliver new messages and of course announce things like great new trucks. Yeah, no, it looks fantastic. I'd love to be here one day for one of those announcements. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner is ready. All right, mate. Enjoy your dinner. Nice talking to you again. Don't wait too long to come okay, so by. We're here in a part of the facility <laughs> which is a bit more hands-on. It's the technical training school. Have a nice dinner a and good night, buddy. Here. Maybe you can explain to everybody what happens in this area. Yeah, of course. So uh, we've got about fifteen hundred technicians within the. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet, but I really want to see this part during the stream. Different, engines, different components, different diagnosis technology, uh, and, and that's what, what we do here. So. Uh, our technicians will regularly be invited to come to this facility in Haddenham. Uh, they'll stay on a training course for maybe a day or two days, uh, bringing them up to speed with the latest technology. And we, here we've got all the great facilities. Uh, we've got trucks, we've got engines, we've got other components to enable them to strip them down, diagnose problems, put them back together again so that they go back to the dealerships uh, with, with more information and better uh, technical capabilities. Fantastic. And the people that are kind of learning here and training, are they kind of younger people or do you have people from all walks of life from here? Here, they're from all walks of life and all age groups and all standards within the dealer network. We do have a separate apprentice training school, right. which is aimed at younger people. That's based down at the Bristol City College. Uh, but here is where we've got established qualified technicians who are developing their own skills and knowledge, which of course you have to do because products are changing all the time. Of course. And if anyone wants to kind of learn more about how maybe they can get involved on a course, maybe even get into training, is there anywhere they can find out more about this sort of thing? Absolutely, absolutely. We've got a good website, daft.co.uk. Loads of information about our apprentice program, which is award-winning. Uh, but also there are opportunities for um, uh, qualified technicians to come and join the DAF family. where They will be really welcome and of course it's a very uh, uh, rewarding career choice for, for anybody who's got engineering aspirations and, and a really interest in heavy truck. Uh, technology. Fantastic. Well, I'm sure some of our viewers at home would love to learn more about that, so make sure to check out the website. We'll make sure to include it in our descriptions below. So we're stood here next to one of these absolutely massive engines, but it's so impressive to look at. And from what I understand, it comes from one of the newer generations of DAF trucks. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, we're, we're obviously already training now on the new generation of trucks, and this is one of the... Uh, the Pucker engines. Yeah. Engine. So 10.8 litre engine, available to 450 horsepower, so... Uh, uh, a great bit of kit, very fuel efficient, um, with uh, uh, an MX engine brake. Um, and yeah, Can you imagine 450 horsepower, fantastic but we're talking so about a little, truck. You know, Some people parts, put that in their car. A fantastic engine, and, I'm sure we'll and even more than that. As well. Absolutely. <laughs> so we've had the chance to take a round look here at the DAF Trucks UK facility and we've seen some amazing things and learned about history. But now it's time to take a look at the new generation of DAF Trucks. I'm joined here by James. James, great to meet you. How are you doing? Hello, you all right? Yeah, good, thanks. That's wonderful. And maybe if you can introduce yourself about what you Did you see that? We don't have so that. I'm James Turner. I'm the product uh, manager for trucks in the UK. So making We sure don't have that wheelbase combination. And also that is a, um, is look, one of the trucks you can see here in the background. The middle it's axle different. is lifting. So I don't generation. think we have that one in game, do we? One of the biggest features that stands out to me at first Let is me have the a look. window that you have here. Maybe you can talk to us more about that. We yeah, have sure. that so one. So this option here, the curb view window, helps to deliver better direct vision to the driver. No, we don't have that one. So it's a tail lift. What we are getting is a tail lift. And so making the vehicle uh, a superior 
safety uh, model when it comes to uh, what options customers have on the marketplace. Fantastic. It's so modern and sleek looking. I can't wait to get a closer look at it, even more round so the front. So, shall we take a look? Sure, absolutely. We got a tail lift, Mike. Right, so we're here at the front of the new generation of DAF trucks here, the XF, and it's fantastic and it's so modern looking at the front here. Could you maybe talk to us a little bit more about it? Sure. One of the major changes to this particular model is the fact it takes advantage of the new European masses and dimensions. Mm. This truck is actually 160 millimetres longer than the previous XF, and that helps to contribute to much more improved aerodynamics. Uh, that helps to deliver 6% better fuel consumption alone, just down to the aerodynamics. Um, overall 10% better fuel consumption. But a little okay. on the screen, it's curved as well for that aerodynamic uh, performance increase, uh, as well as, you know, redesigned headlights that are fully LED, as well as probably one of the most radical design changes, the corner view system, removing uh, the need for the curb view and, uh, and uh, side view mirror, sorry class five and six mirror if you like fantastic and you can really see that it's built with the driver in mind you know with all of the different technologies and changes that have come to daft trucks it's fantastic to see uh, what you've been doing to help the drivers on the road in their everyday job absolutely yes yeah, really important drivers are really important to uh, to daf uh, they're often complimented to having the best bed in the business and uh, the, f the, the the key uh, focus for us and when it comes to developing a new vehicle fantastic well can't wait to take a look inside should we go let's go for it wonderful So I'm here inside of the new generation of DAF trucks. It is massive in here and the technology is fantastic. So we're going to take a closer look with you. Let's take a look, shall we? The whole interior is completely new, complete overhaul with the driver in mind, in focus when it comes to the development. There's flat surfaces everywhere you look for paperwork, storage of equipment, the legendary DAF table remains. We have a new infotainment system with full Apple CarPlay integration, not to mention the swivel seats that I'm currently moving into the cockpit with ease, fully adjustable, new steering column, infinite number of positions for ultimate driver comfort, new 12 inch digital display, as well as the DAF digital vision system replacing conventional mirrors for cameras. It's great to now finally be on the road with James who's driving for us. And James, is this your, you've probably driven this truck quite a few times by now, haven't you? Or yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, I was saying, do you know what? This is probably the second time I've driven one loaded. Um, so I'm still getting used to a lot of the new features myself, to be honest with you, but it is a totally different drive, much more comfortable, uh, and just, yeah, lovely place to be, really. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. And we're talking a little bit about those uh, digital mirrors with the technology, and it's super handy now that we have the trailer on the back of the truck. You can really see it in use now. We have the three lines coming down as you can see here on the uh, digital mirror maybe you could walk through us what those maybe represent to a driver yeah sure so when we get into the vehicle you're presented with a blue line which helps you to plot and actually store where the rear of your trailer is mm -hmm. that really does help a driver especially reversing into uh, a bay for example that they may not have been in before ah. give you some perspective of where your trailer terminates and helps to position your vehicle quite accurately Okay, that is why, what the blue lines are for. Experience of doing something like that. So cool. for a new driver, it's an excellent feature, and even for an experienced one, much easier. Okay, that is what the blue lines are for. All right, that's interesting. Congratulations to everybody over at DAF, no matter where you're based in the world, for you know everyone who had their hands on in this project and creating this new generation of DAF trucks, because it really, you know, you see the outcome right here, right now, as we're driving it. It's really fantastic, and uh, of course, we're extremely excited to bring uh, this truck, uh, the new generation, into your truck simulator too as well, and I'm sure our players are going to love uh, driving it virtually as well, which is so, so exciting, and more so yet, of course, in the future, uh, we've got our special project that's happening as well, Daff and Drive. You might know about it a little bit, where, you know, all around the different showrooms as well, people will be able to try out the new generations of Daff trucks virtually and go on a little route themselves and try it out, where, where they might not be able to be able to have an actual truck uh, to test drive, or maybe they don't even have a license, but they just want to have a try for themselves. All right, so I've got to ask you, have you had a chance to try out your truck simulator 2 for yourself, or have you not had a the time for it yet? Do you know what? I have had a go. Yeah. Uh, and some people may disagree, but I think I uh, 
I'm able to drive a truck better in real life than on the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's understandable. I mean, maybe we'll see if that's the case with me a little bit later. You know, I might have the opportunity to get behind the wheel for myself. We'll see what happens. Uh, I've no, you know, been known to not do so great in the game, but I, I digress. You know, there are two, you know, different kind of ways of driving you know one I've got to concentrate on you know what the community is saying and asking questions everything like I'm doing now and another time you're more concentrating on the wheel so we'll see how that pans out but for now I'm definitely enjoying the drive here in the new generation of DAF trucks it's fantastic and uh, honestly I just really love all the technology that's been packed into this new truck and uh, I'm sure the drivers of the road are gonna, are gonna love it and I'm sure many of them are already are uh, which is fantastic to hear. So uh, thank you for letting me come for a drive with you. Honestly, it's, it's really great to see. So I've been given the unique opportunity by DAF Trucks to actually get behind the wheel of one of these brand new generations of DAF Trucks to do a in real life reverse parking challenge. Now, I've only ever driven these in your truck simulator 2 virtually. So it's time to put my skills to the test to see if I can actually do it in real life. Let's do this. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Well, I've had a fantastic time here at the DAF Trucks offices in Haddenham, United Kingdom here. Philip, James, thank you so much for having me here. It's an absolute pleasure to learn about the history, the things that happen here uh, at the offices and at this facility, uh, as well as drive the new generation of DAF Trucks and check it out up close and personal. We hope to kind of work with you more in the future. And we know that our players are really going to enjoy having the new generation of trucks in your trucks only too. But until next time, we'll see you again soon. Stay safe, everybody. And what a fantastic experience it was to be in Haddenham uh, in the United Kingdom yesterday. I'm jealous, Alex. Daft I'm Trucks jealous. Massive. Thank you to everybody there. Lots of people saying they're jealous. I see yeah. lots of people in the chat <laughs> there he saying, is. oh, there it was stage, well. it was yeah. rigged. People saying, GG, easy parking. Look, I've done the in real life parking <laughs> challenge now. I don't think, you know, I think I'm top of the leaderboard for that. So it's, it's up to, to you, Nimiro, or, Oscar, actual, yeah. or even yourself, Pavel, to, to try it for yourself and see if you can do a better job of that. I think I think I did a pretty good job, even if it was just a, did. a straight you line did. back park. Excellent, good job. excellent, excellent parking. <laughs> That's actually a, a first proof that you reverse and park better than me. Yeah, <laughs> it was actually uh, fantastic. And uh, I was saying a little bit earlier before the stream, um, you know, Daft Tracks have made it so easy and intuitive to kind of get behind the wheel and learn very quickly um you know to, to to actually start driving the truck and what everything does it's all there for the driver on hand and DAF have really gone out of their way to, to make it as easy as possible for the driver um when it comes to driving the truck you know myself never ever having driven a truck before uh, any sort of larger vehicle no bigger than a, a small city vehicle was even able to get behind the wheel and quite easily learn and very quickly get hands on with actually driving a truck and a trailer and I wonder uh, how many you know, takes that took to um back that, that truck sorts. up it really is fantastic and Amir, Marie I, I believe you would agree on that as well yeah definitely I was also curious how you found kind of the, the uh, seating position and kind of adjusting it to to your needs yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of options. I, I found that fantastic. Uh, James there was showing me so much uh, with the seats in the real life version uh, of the XF there. And, you know, you have the swivel controls. So we're, we're sitting there swiveling all around the cab, which is fantastic. Uh, you know, of course you had um, the, the kind of the air suspension where you can lift yourself up and down the angles and, and back and forth. I and mean, there's so many different options uh, for drivers to get comfortable in their seats and uh, allow them to, to have kind of a comfortable drive and uh, it really seems like you've you've gone all out for the you know for the seat there because obviously that's where they spend most of their time is yeah. in that seat when they're actually driving the truck and it seems like you've added loads of different functions and options for the driver there yeah that's also the feedback that we uh, we got uh, from the let's say some of the drivers that uh, one of our customers uh, that have driven it now for a uh, past few weeks the uh, first thing that the gentleman saw me showed me was oh finally i can tilt the the, the steering wheel and then just everything uh, as I wish, uh, really it like in his car at, uh, at home. 
yeah, no, I, I could not agree more. And it was very comfortable as well. I did not want to get out of that seat while I was in it. Once I was in it, it was very hard for them to get me out of the seat. Uh, it was very a very comfortable cab. And uh, definitely, if any of you have the opportunity to check out uh, the XF or the XG Plus, any, any of the models there uh, at a local dealership or a truck festival in the future, definitely do so. Definitely go check it out because it is really, really great. And uh, a lot of fun as well. Again, a massive thank you to over everyone at Daft Trucks and at the Hadley Marks as well for taking the time for allowing me to come to visit, to check out the trucks there, to check out the facilities there. It's all very, very interesting what's happening there on a daily basis uh, and to learn more about the history and uh, what's happening right now here in the present with Daft Trucks. A massive thank you to all of them again. It was a great experience. Um, I could not have been happier coming out of that truck. I had massive smiles all around, that was for sure. <laughs> Um, and I know quite a few of the SCS staff are quite jealous there as well. Yeah, Nero, yeah. I know you got you got to drive other trucks as well. You've, you've had an experience with it as well, but you know. Yeah, but you've been you driving that latest new generation. It's, yeah. it's a little bit. I'm know, enjoying. Above the bar I'm there. enjoying it in, in the game, but I, I believe that you will you will not stop talking about this experience for many more streams <laughs> in the future, right? You can come and visit us. Yeah, yeah, around yeah, the corner. Was, True, true. I'll see you parking in the game and I'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, I can do that. Yeah, no <laughs> then again, the fresh is also now on for me, isn't it? The fresh is now on for me as yes. well if I mess up. Yes. So, um, and also for everybody else in, in, in the chat as well, noticing about uh, a lot of people commenting saying the steering wheel's on the wrong side. The steering wheel's on the well, if you do want it on the on the correct side, you know, there's, there's the UK option as well. You know, you can add that on there as well. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, driving on the left hand side there in the UK. All right, well, we've got plenty more to talk about here on the stream because the uh, 2021 DAF XF isn't the only exciting thing happening True. in Truck Simulator 2. Uh, we also want to uh, talk a lot more about the DAF Drive uh, uh, showcase, uh, which has come to the virtual experience for DAF Incorporation uh, with us and DAF Trucks, and also uh, NVIDIA as well as a very, very exciting uh, cooperation. And uh, maybe Maria, if you want to walk us a little bit more through it, do you, do you have a little bit more information for us uh, about the DAF Drive app? Yes, well, as we presented the uh, DAF experience in uh, June, uh, we were highly awaiting the possibility to take a little spin around the wheel in the DAF experience it, uh, itself. Uh, so it's been now actually made available when you visit the Duff experience that without any login or having to uh, sign up or anything, a, a person can oh, go to hey, the hey, hey. The Duff experience. This is here, cool. Look at directly, that. Directly to the, to the Duff drive. So you get the opportunity. We can to, actually uh, uplift the, the um, the passenger's seat. In, uh, ultimate model hey, this the, is uh, cool. Space cab. And really uh, test out the the truck yourself. Uh, <laughs> just the the similar cool, to, uh, to your game. There's sort of options to that's uh, cool. The that's seating, cool. Uh, the visibility. Now what is this um, then? I Seat myself, items. I, I'm, I hope that the oh FTM yeah, an item for yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, normally <laughs> on the so seat, say. but uh, yeah. The, the experience okay, to, uh, we can have something floating there. Stuff, <laughs> uh, the vehicles, the cool. new range to really also kind of get this uh, experience no, we're not uh, going to do that. Uh, online again without any. Uh, log on ah, without having cool. to ask for any passwords. That is cool. Uh, that is online. cool. Customers, fans can just uh, have a go themselves. That is cool. It sounds fantastic and really. Uh, that kind of like is level, cool. Uh, that is cool. Uh, idea from everybody that is, involved there. That to be is able to cool. Hop right into the browser and actually test drive the, the trucks that virtually. Is, uh, also cool. within your truck simulator too. Uh, Pavel, this is quite a unique project, isn't it? And something that I feel like has never ever really been done before. Well, we believe we are in a little ways of pioneers in, in this three-way cooperation between us, NVIDIA, and DAF. Uh, when we were approached about somehow helping out with, with the virtual part of presenting the vehicles, we struggled how to, how to approach this because we certainly, our engine certainly cannot be like somehow magically plugged directly into our web browser, which would be like the ultimate uh, most easiest way to, to experience something uh, through a computer screen or a mobile screen or a, or a tablet screen. So mm -hmm. we suggested uh, that maybe we should like serve it, serve the data, stream it from, from cloud. And obviously there's only a few partners that we could approach about this. Fortunately with you know, another giant in computer industry this time with NVIDIA, we managed to, to find shared interest into to drive a new adjusting, truck. adapting their existing technology, the, what they use for GeForce Now for, for such a project. So 
in this way, uh, this combination is, is will be unique and a kind of opening new opportunities. Maybe there will be more of this coming ultimately from various auto, auto uh, car industry companies that you, you have real game engine feeding data easily into like any random visitor of a website. In that way, that's, that's making it so kind of democratic to, to approach uh, the 3D experience, the virtual experience. And of course, it was a lot of like red tape, a lot of bureaucracy around it because this was partly secret, uh, required some changes, some engineering time from, from three different companies together. So in a way, that explains why the XF in your, your truck simulator has, is, has come to the game a little bit later than we may have anticipated half a year ago. We wanted to save hey the, the bossy. For, for the big Hello, the body. Good evening. But, but finally it's here and good evening, good evening. Welcome and thanks for sharing, body. I, I've seen it. Thanks I've for seen sharing. playing it on his old, mm -hmm. weak laptop because the company is so cheap <laughs> not to get him a good one. And it was so smooth, so, so, yeah. so like good response time. So obviously, NVIDIA's technology is robust, it's solid. And in this context, it works very well to, to make it easy for customers of DAF, prospective customers, to check out something cool, maybe yeah, you know, try it out. And then it's, it's innovative in some kind of marketing sense too here. So, so it's exciting to be a part of this. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And, and Oscar, have you had a chance to to kind of have a play around with it. It's very impressive to see because, you know, quite simply, you're playing your truck simulator too in your mm -hmm. browser and, you know, working with Def to bring this, you know, their trucks into the NVIDIA GeForce Now uh, platform so that we have a special course that you can drive around in. It's really, really exciting, isn't it? Yeah, I, I cannot stress uh, enough how how amazing this is, basically. You, you go to a website, you click on the link, and then you get to drive around in the, in the new DAF and in a special, uh, specially created map in, in your truck simulator too. So, you know, it's it's absolutely unprecedented, I think. I and have access to that link, by the way. way. We will I need to check that more out still. Applications of, of this in the future, um, uh, especially. I need to check that out. Maybe automotive. I wonder what is so causing this. That this is a great way to you know reach That's out weird. to customers, to fans. Even you know, business to business, this will That's work weird. really well, especially during you know COVID times when people can't hmm. go directly to the dealerships to check out the trucks. So I think you know this, this is, is weird a here. really unique experience that everyone can try for themselves. Uh, I think the t technology is quite robust; it has come certainly come a long way over the years. Um, you know, game streaming over over a web browser is certainly new uh, this year. But, you know, game streaming itself has been around for a few years, but I think mm. it's finally, you know, at, at, at this point that we can bring this reliably to, to most people around the world. And I, I think it's great. You don't need a gaming computer. You don't need a, a, a laptop with a dedicated graphics card to even try this. So. You know, just, just yeah, if you want to try the DAF out, indeed, um, and, um, and you can go so to a link and you can I, I, yeah, play the this, game with, with in a web browser. And, and it's really just a part. Watching. It's a map. It's the DAF so trucks, and you can test the DAF trucks out. It's been quite a lot of work. It is. I didn't check it out yet. I do have access to it. I actually for a couple of days already I, I got a link to test it out and I didn't do that yet so sure that it's you know working perfectly for everyone you know because it's not like running on on a local system so so we had to find an optimal setting for everyone uh, so that even when it's being streamed over the internet it'll look look good uh, it'll function how is it going uh, to sound? Great, and you know, it, it just gives the correct impression, great impression to everyone. Uh, yeah, so we're very glad that this finally worked out, and and especially proud that you know we are considered, uh, you know, such a good simulation. I would say. That, that, uh, okay, I have to set up my steering wheel. This was seen as and paddles. Really viable. I'm going to mute to myself them, a little bit. Uh, as a business-to-business -business solution, and of course, now we are also. No, that's not it. This, 
to basically everyone watching the stream, to our Euro Truck Simulator. That's not players, it either. So that oh. they could, you know, have a never mind have a drive in 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 the browser. You know, it's it's just I can't I can't stress again like how amazing this is. Yeah, that's what actually people watching the stream. What they are seeing, the, the images that are generated yes. here for this drive are not generated by a computer sitting here under mm. the table by Nemiro. Nope. This is images uh, generated mm. on a rendering farm, I don't know, somewhere wow. on the globe. They are not in the game mm. now? He, <laughs> he's <laughs> driving around in the a demo? Computer here through a web browser and then, then again restreamed out to the people watching yeah. it wow. through, through uh, Twitch or, wow. or whatever the facility. And all the uh, wow. response time and everything. I is think great. wow. Uh, yeah, there's GeForce no is, is wow. known that if you have a solid line, uh, that the performance is, is great. So the technology, in this particular demo may not be so exciting for the players of our games. We prefer them to actually buy the game and, and you know make us happy that way rather than just going to a web browser for for a small <laughs> demo. But when it comes to B two B business to business cooperation, when it comes to uh, the real like industry uh, transportation industry companies looking for new ways to engage their customers this is a great demo and a great showcase for our technology again to be i would i use this term repeatedly to be more relevant for the industry and to take more interest in what, in what we produce and for the companies to feel it more important to participate in the universe of euro truck and american truck so for us this is the hope that we'll be once again recognized for some innovation for for something great that we can bring into the table with in cooperation with our partners. Well, this must def Ways. definitely be a win-win. Like you said, for our, let's mm. say our customers, it's a great way to get a first tra taste of a drive. As uh, um, let's say, you know, it gives such a realistic view of the, of the vehicle, uh, of the direct view of the of the options, and it must also be a win for you because it's very addictive to play. So uh, I'm I'm sure this uh, <laughs> it'll work well uh, both ways. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, and it's really amazing to uh, see in action. Definitely, uh, like Pavel yeah. mentioned, right now cool. it isn't a video or anything. This is Nemiro uh, playing it for himself on the browser on, on Google Chrome uh, via the uh, DAF virtual experience, uh, where you can check that out. The, the links are being posted uh, by Nightbot in both of our chats, but it's at virtualexperience.daf.com. And uh, Marie, like you mentioned, you know, this isn't the only feature of the virtual experience. There's lots of different things that people can see there, right? Definitely. So uh, this is the novelty in the, in the Duff experience, more information about the new generation, but also uh, our, the, uh, the blue range, the, the ultimate uh, model, uh, about uh, information about ready to go programs, uh, use truck programs, all with direct links to the, the website. So it's really kind of an ultimate platform for all that is uh, Duff. Hmm. Um, people can also visit the Duff Museum, the new Duff Museum, as you were in, in Haddenham and started at the history of, uh, of Duff. Uh, people can take a look uh, in the digital world at the museum, really at the workshop where uh, Duff started in, uh, in 1928. So it's a great platform, uh, a very interactive way for fans, uh, customers to uh, get to know Duff and our products more. Fantastic. Well, I, I, it's amazing to see in action. I'm really uh, enjoying seeing the Miro drive through it here, and I'm sure lots of people are going to enjoy it into the future. Um, like you said, it's a fantastic way to get everybody on board, and it's very easy and intuitive. You don't need a login, like you said, or anything. So, you know, make sure to tell everybody about it. Make sure to go tell your friends, your mum, your dad, your grandma, <laughs> if you've ever wanted them to have a go at your truck simulator too, or even checking out a new DAF then uh, definitely head over to the virtual experience there and uh, let them have a little test drive because I'm sure... Excited to uh, drive a new all, Doff uh, truck? Really enjoy it and Select your favorite model. Well. You can drive it virtually. Virtual Click on the door to enter your Doff truck. Very user friendly, very enjoy. Easy to click, around, click around as well. Uh, and I believe that you know using Google Chrome as a browser isn't the only way. Can you also do it via mobile? Is that correct as well? I saw an option for that, Oscar. No, I don't no, think it's, it's available for mobile. No, it's not just mobile, so, it's just on the PC. Yeah, yeah, it's on the PC now, and I think it should be on Google Chrome only. Uh, although mm -hmm. I think support for Microsoft Edge might be coming because it's basically based on the same browser now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. well, good to know. Well, there we go. Just to get that specified, there it will be on Google Chrome on your PC on your browser, but that's that's free to download as well, and you can get that quite easily on your PC. Uh, so uh, definitely check it out. And again, it's very 
it's incredible to see, you know, in this day and age, you know, you feel like you're an, an actual expo there, you know, very photo realistic looking trucks there all set up around the show space there and you can click around them go into the cabs learn more about them and i imagine it's been uh, quite popular marie yeah we've had uh, loads of uh, views i mean, believe over millions what i saw the uh, the last time so a lot of people uh, are taking a look revisiting because uh, as uh, uh, you are um let's say updating having novelty so do we in the uh, the dub experience like i said now with the links to direct links to websites uh, that being more movies uh, in the Duff experience. Also good to add that, let's say, the, uh, the Duff Drive isn't yet maybe uh, available, let's say, on a mobile device, but you can visit the uh, Duff experience easily also on your phone. You just need mm. to okay. put it to, to landscape and really you can browse through it uh, the exact way as we are doing now here uh, uh, on the PC. Fantastic. So really you can take it on the go with you, you know, if you're if you're taking a journey somewhere and you just think, oh, what should I do? You should definitely go check out yeah. the virtual experience. I'm loving the museum here, by the way. I love I love the, the look and feel of that when some of the old older trucks there and some of the photos there. And, and even like mentioned in the video, you got one of the uh, early DAF cars as well, which is something yeah. new that I learned uh, about, you know, the cars and the history there of DAF. And uh, this is something, you know, for everyone, I would feel like at the, uh, the DAF virtual experience there to, to learn about and to, to explore as well. Uh, again, you can find all the blog uh, the links on our blog, blog.scsoft.com, or you can go directly uh, to the site that is virtualexperience.daf.com, and that's where you can find not only the DAF drive uh, option there, but also where Nemiro is showing you uh, around here. It looks like you're having a great time in the kind of the, the retro the retro trucking uh, part there, Nemiro. Yes, I'm, I'm having actually a really great time. I didn't know <laughs> all these vehicles have been built uh, or they're built by that. I had the pleasure to visit the museum uh, not too long ago, and this is really like it is in the museum. So, no need to buy a ticket to uh, to Eindhoven if you want to go and have a look at the uh, museum. Although I would, I would definitely recommend it. It's uh, a great museum to see. <laughs> I would love to visit it one day. I mean, it looks great. It looks like there's a lot of history there, packed inside of a quite a, a, a building there. So lots to see, lots to do, and lots to learn about as well. So uh, absolutely worth the visit once uh, you're able to travel a bit more freely in the future. I think we have to organise a bit of a work trip there, right, Pavel? I think <laughs> would be a good idea. <laughs> All right. Well, good stuff. Well, again, folks, you can find all those links uh, on our blog for the virtual uh, experience uh, there. Make sure to go definitely check it out, the DAF Drive. It's uh, a very, very exciting cooperation uh, between all parties involved there. A massive thank you to everybody at DAF and at NVIDIA for making it possible. Like Oscar mentioned, it's been a, a bit of a long time in the running and getting together, but we're so glad that we're able to be on the day here where you're able to experience and drive it for yourself. And Pavel, that must be quite exciting for you as well to, to be able to have that so freely available for everyone to try out. Well, yeah, it's, it's a great demo for us, of course. It's, it's uh, something that will help the visibility for us. Maybe we'll gain some customers too. It's, it's going to be a nice uh, case study, per perhaps, for when we talk to, to the industry that we were, you know, that a, a big guy like Duff made the bet on our technology to, to use it for the virtual experience. So it, it's really, I, I overuse the word exciting of course it is it's, it's really a, a like a, a pleasure and, and, and privilege to to be a part of something this big for for a first in the industry that's great now it's great to have all of your insights in on it and uh yeah again make sure to let us know if you have a try of it uh, everybody that's watching on the live stream or on the replay get in touch with our with us via our social media channels we'd love to hear your feedback not only on the virtual experience but also on the uh, 2021 daf xf as well now that's not the only thing happening on social media uh we've also got a, a giveaway that's going to be happening as well isn't that right Namira? yes that's absolutely right and we are going to be able to give away a few very exclusive items i've heard mm, we haven't revealed them just yet but no. i've heard there's some very very cool items up for grabs and that's all going to be taking place uh, via a, I believe, a hashtag yes, sir. Uh, uh, giveaway. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All you need to do to participate in this giveaway is to go and give it a try of the DAF Dry application in, in the virtual experience platform. And basically just 
you know, print screen while you are playing uh, or testing the Dev Dry app and post your experience over social media. It can be Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Uh, make sure to tag uh, Dev Tracks uh, uh, social media profiles, and media social media profiles, and our social media profiles, and implement the special hashtag, hashtag Dev Drive. All you, all this information uh, is able or is uh, you can found uh, on our blog as well that we just <coughs> released today and then yeah we we will pick a few lucky winners who will be later rewarded with some very limited edition and exclusive merchandise uh, in cooperation between Duff and SCS software great well if you definitely want to get your hands on some swag some unique gifts some in the sweats, future, yeah. <laughs> definitely get us get some get some uh, screenshots sent in uh, from that uh, DAF drive uh, application there again under the hashtag I believe it was ride DAF is the hashtag that you need to use on on social media and uh, make sure to get all those tags in as well for visibility again all the details like Nimo I said at our blog blog.scsoft.com uh, if you need to to kind of go back and, and take a look at that uh, as well so again up for grabs so make sure to definitely check it out because you could you could win definitely win something if you uh, if you do you never know you never know it might make a very nice christmas gift or a new year's gift even uh for sure <laughs> all right uh well it looks like we're going to be wrapping things up here it's been an absolute pleasure having everybody in the studio with uh, with us it's been fantastic to get a, a better insight here on the new 2021 uh, daf xf about the changes that have come uh, to this version of, of the XF and also uh, bringing it into your Truck Simulator 2, the DAF Drive app and the virtual experience as well. And of course, the visit to Haddon, which is absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, Marie, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me again. Fantastic to uh, share this uh, experience. Uh, again, it, was an, it has been an exciting time for us with all three models uh, winning the International Truck of the Year. So we are very, very proud of DAF. I'm very excited for this cooperation and um yeah i'll have another go uh, myself uh, if i get home this evening <laughs> sounds like a plan sounds like a good evening plan and congratulations to everyone over at daf for those awards it's, it's fantastic to hear um also oscar as well thank you so much for joining us uh, all the way over from singapore i know it's very late in the night but uh, thank you for being with us as well uh, do you have any last words for us Oh, I guess get out there and enjoy the new XF and, you know, give Dove Drive uh, a try. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> thanks for having me as well. No worries. Nimiro as well, thank you for being our driver for this evening, uh, showing us around the trucks, making sure we've got everything on the screen that we need to have. Um, anything else from you? No, nah, not really. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. <laughs> thanks for everyone. Uh, thanks, Marie, for being here with us again. Maybe we will do a third stream in the future. <laughs> Oh, that'd, that'd be, be good. good. That'd be nice. We will see. <laughs> I think you guys. Uh, Getting used to the studio. Oscar, I, I, I know that at your place it's like a middle of the night, right? So thank you for this mm -hmm. sacrifice <laughs> no you are always willing to take for our streams. And Alex, Pavel, thank you both as well. Yeah, I was going to say, Pavel uh, Shabor as well, thank you so much for your time uh, this evening, giving us your reactions and thoughts and a little bit of the insight of the process as well between the corporations and bringing uh, the DAF XF into the game as well. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on. It's been great. Thanks for having me here. And I, I think I feel we should thank not just the hosts and, and the guests for, for the, stream, on the stream, but all the engineers that have participated in this, all the, the vehicle team here, all the kind DAF people that trusted in this cooperation and, and you know first of all gave us access to the secret data and then later on trusted that <laughs> we can go on beyond the game space and move it into like the serious use so so thanks for all these fantastic people who made this possible absolutely could not agree more massive thank you to everybody and for everyone that was involved in this amazing project uh, with DAF Trucks. Well, that's all we have time for, folks. If you are just joining us, unfortunately, it's a little bit late, but you can catch us. Uh, you can replay the video again on our official YouTube channel where you'll find this uh, as a video on demand, as well as on Twitch for the next 30 days as well. Thank you, everybody, from both our Twitch and our YouTube channels uh, for tuning in as well. Thank you for your support. And we really hope that you enjoy, uh, enjoy driving the new uh, next generation of DAF Trucks in your truck simulator too make sure to send us your screenshots um, as well and uh, we will see you for sure again in the near future christmas is right around the corner that's for sure uh, so we'll definitely see you again in the future for more streams 
uh, and other content as well. So from all of us at SES Software and from Daft Trucks, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or morning, evening, wherever you're watching from, and stay safe. Take care, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Excited to drive a new dock.
Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm giving such a nice explanation about everything and my mic is muted again, god damn it. Ah, oh, how is the Oh my god, I gave such a nice explanation and my how long is my mic muted? How is that even possible? How is that even possible? It doesn't even... Wow, how is that even possible? Oh my god, already for a long time? Oh, that is just... And did you mention that already? Oh, uh, my god, Nicole needs... Yeah, of course. Oh my god, mate. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, but now we are going to drive... Um, now we are just going to drive it ourselves. Um, I'm going to get out of this... Uh, this screen. There we go. And we go to... Hoppa. This is a truck. The brand new Duff XF... I created this one during the um, uh, during the stream, and now we are going to drive it. Oh God damn it! I'm so angry again on myself. Why was my mic muted, mate? I don't even know how my mic got muted in the first place. Wow, that is not good. Not good. Not good. Okay, um, for this truck, I'm going to make some changes, so we actually need to see this, right? So, going to make some changes here. How I'm going to, um, like this, like this, uh... Maybe we should uh, back this up a little bit. Like that. Make it a bit lower. Uh, steering wheel. No, 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 no. Steering wheel to me. There we go. Hey, Irene. Hello there. Good evening. Welcome. There we go. We're going to lower the view a little bit. Like this, so that we can see the, um, um, the GPS. Oh my god, now I'm feeling stupid. I was muted for so long, come on. I'm feeling stupid right now, because I made such a nice explanation of how that giveaway is going to run and everything. And you guys didn't hear a word of what I was saying. Wow. 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 Just wow. But okay, here we are. We are going to drive for another two hours and a half. We're going to have some fun. I hope. to make a subtle change that I've done and I'm going to um, change that. Hey Alex, Alex, good evening mate. Welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing tonight? 
So tomorrow I'm going to show you something else, guys. I did show you without the explanation because you guys couldn't hear me. But tomorrow I'm going to show you how you can have a an experience of the game with this new dev without even owning the game. So as yes did a cooperation between them, dev and Nvidia. And um, together they created an online platform that works on a potato PC, even a phone, a tablet, whatever. Um, where you can test out these brand new devs, the XF, the XG and the XG+. Plus. You can test them all out. And um, yeah, you don't need the game. So they made an online experience for everybody to, to try out. To try out these new devs and you can even drive the old xf super cabin of super space uh yeah chris this is the new dev mate this is the dev xf the dev xf which is already in the game it was already in the game before they even launched their stream um so this is the xf uh basically the same as the xg and the xg plus the 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 the, the main changes are on the inside of the truck and of course this um, in the right door, the passenger's side door, you can put that, that window. Uh, you can even choose to not have that window, uh, but you can choose to have that window as well. And what's really cool is on the inside, you have the passenger seat, but you can make the passenger seat doing this. So the passenger seat is, um, is, is folds is is yeah folded it's yeah folded and and then you have a better view even over that uh, right side um window in the passenger seat door so that is really cool um now what we don't have is in the dash we have that woodwork so i chose to have that that strip of woodwork there underneath the gps and in the XG and the XG Plus, you also get that woodwork up there uh, in the compartments to put away your personal stuff or whatever. But for the XF, that isn't there. So there is not that much luxury um, inside the cabin. Well, of course, there is the same luxury. Um, there is not uh, the same, um, um, how should I put it, decoration. Um is there another window in the driver's door? Uh, no, there is another window in the driver's door. That wouldn't be very logic. That wouldn't be very logic. So, for for um, if you take the UK version of the game, you guys are are this for you, Chris. There is going to be a window in in this door, but then this door is the passenger side door for you. But there is only a window in the um, passenger door side. Why? Because bikes and, and bicycles and pedestrians, you only have to see them on that side. On the other side is going to be the road, um, not bikes and bicycles. So it's mainly the, the side of the passenger that needs the window. So for you, it's going to, to be the other way around. You will have the window right here if you take the steering wheel on the right side. All right, here we go um start the engine again and uh we're going to have some trips with this one but the truck is looking good um i don't see many differences with the xg and xg plus except for the uh window in the door and and one of the bigger differences of course are the different wheelbase so there are different chassis uh for this truck um I can quickly show it for those who weren't here yet. If we go buy a new truck, I'm not really going to buy it, but I can show you how it's going to look like. So uh, the DEF uh, 2021 XF is the first truck here. Don't ask me how those colored things are, how that comes. I have no idea. That wasn't the case before I had the new truck. And that is the case now that the new truck is in. So uh, we have this truck by default, Chris. Uh, there is no window in the in the door, 
and it's not at the exterior accessories it's not at this point that you can put the window in it's really the um, cabin accessories you really need that one go inside the truck and then you can choose to have here the cab doors and to have that safety window in there and you can have it like this or you can have it like there was a dot here on the seat and you can just up flip the uh the seat oh and that's cool so uh this is yeah that's cool and then you can better see the window what i see now is i didn't change anything about the the inside so by default you have the cabin hexagon and the hexagon cabin comes with and also the argenta comes with this seat so with the gray line in the middle so then when you when you and the natura comes with this seat you see with the leather but but and now it comes when you go to the inside and you want to fold that seat let's have a look so fold the seat and all of a sudden it changes from the leather seat to the seat that is in the other two interiors so maybe that is a mistake they made or maybe they didn't pay attention you can already see that the the icons used here so the top seat is the default seat which is actually the seat that goes with my interior and the bottom one is the seat without the the, the lining inside and oh no it, it's not even a seat with the gray line in the center if you take the the default interiors oh yeah but the the line is there so when it's folded you can't see it let's have a look when it's folded you can't see the lines is that it oh yeah when i fold it i do have the line there so it's only when i take the oh that is weird so now we go for the argenta which is a gray seed with the gray line when i do the folding when i do the folding it's still a gray seed with the gray line so there is there is something weird going on with the natura here hey angel thanks for the like there alex as well and chris thanks for the likes guys um makes sense to me yeah so now we have this seat with the gray lining at the sides here or the beige lining at the sides and here at the sides and then in the middle but when i choose folding the chair together the seat together all of a sudden i get another seat i'm getting another seat this is not that top seat that is weird so for the other two interiors you do get the same seat open and closed but for my interior you get another seat when you close the seat that is weird that is weird i have to ask SES if that was their intention but that is weird why should it why should a seat change appearance if you fold it i have no idea <laughs> but okay we are going to do some trips maybe i should uh open up the convoy first going to open up the convoy for those people who want to drive with me that is all possible um host convoy there we go and confirm there we go it's going through my mods now of course so we'll have to wait a uh, wait a little bit so you can make the truck six by four and the xf did you say oh shit that was what i was going to show you ah yeah i'm going to show it again chris i'm i'm going to show you again just a sec um let's cancel this it's taking way too long let's cancel this let's cancel that um that was what i was going to show you indeed um thanks for reminding me uh truck dealers dev uh buy online but the strange thing is though that 
the combination that they showed in their stream and the combination where Alex drove with, that wheelbase or that chassis is not in the game. But indeed, you have the um, short FT, you have the long FT, you have the FTS with a, um, a tail lift, and you have the FTN with a tail lift, but uh, single tires. So this is the 6x4, I think. And this is the 6x... I always forget what those combinations are standing for. It has to do with the amount of wheels, but then this one would be 6x1, 6x6, six six six, and this one would be 6x8. I don't know what these combinations are standing for. Uh, I'm guessing the FTN, the... Do you think that those are going to be steerable? Do you think so? Well, I didn't take the double axles yet. I'm going to check that all out tomorrow. Uh, why didn't I take those? Because I don't have the option to put side skirts here. You see? So these combinations are only coming like this. I can't put a side skirt on here, which is probably going to come in the future. Um, but, but right now I can't put side skirts on here, which is pretty stupid. The only thing I can do here is uh, rear fenders. I can put fenders on there, but that's it. Uh, that's it. I can't put side skirts on. Only there, there is also only a tank here on this side. On this side, there is no tank. Um, I have a dot here for a tank, but that's definitely not happening. Um, I don't know, and I'm, I don't think I still have mods on. No, I have no mods for the DAF anymore. So um, I, I don't know. Not working. There is there are no side skirts here. Uh, maybe they look like the front. Uh, yeah, the short cab is uh, well. It's not. Oh yeah, the short cab. This. Yeah. Actually, nothing really changes. So there is only one cab. This. This is the cab. With a, there is a bed in there, but the only thing you can make it longer is putting the arrows on, but the cap stays the same. So uh, in the XG and the XG+, Plus, the cap is going to be longer and the beds are going to be wider. But this is, um, you can make the cap wider or longer, but that's only an optic illusion, right? It's only with these arrow flaps. But, um, yeah, it's a pity that with these chassis, we don't have side skirts. That's really a pity. Okay, now I'm getting out of here. I am going to drive the truck. I did all of this already during the stream. So, um, if you want to see it, um, I would suggest test it out yourself. Or go have a look at everything that was already streamed. Let's have a look for a job now. Did I take something already? No, I didn't. Um, yeah, but the sh the the shorter cap, no, the shorter sh chassis was actually the chassis that already existed, and the longer FT is now the the new one. The new one is the longer chassis, and the longer has everything to do with aerodynamics. So they had more place to to make aerodynamic things which make the um, they all said it during the stream the fuel efficiency got increased by 30% um, I think it was yeah no problem Chris no problem mate no problem but I'm not going to go over everything because I already did it and now I just want to drive and see um 
Uh, he is going to drive just like every other truck in the game, of course. It's not like you're doing a real-life test with the truck and, and feel the difference with another truck. You don't, feel, you don't really feel the difference with another truck. Although, trucks do behave um, uh, differently from each other. In, in some ways, so with the same settings in the game, the same setup, you can have different feelings like for the suspension, that the cabin is more moving, more dancing around than another truck. Those are all things that you do can feel in the game, but not like everything that has to do with comfort, we just don't feel in the game. It's that simple. So let's um, transport some transmissions from here to... Um, what was it now? France? Yeah, France. Oh, and of course, we have the digital dashboard again and the digital mirrors. That is really cool. The rear view. Do we still have to call them mirrors? It is not digital mirrors. It's just rear view cameras. Rear view cameras. But I like it. And uh, the blue line that you have. So here it's actually a black line. So the, the divide between um, the, the long mirror and the short mirror, so, so to speak. Um, in real life. In real life, there is like a blue line on the mirror as well. And the blue line shows where your trailer right turn ahead. is positioned. Turn right. So, I don't really know anymore. Was it now the beginning of your trailer or the end of the trailer? I think the end of the trailer were uh, shown with a blue line. Um, to make it more clear where the end of your trailer is and so to make it easier for the driver to turn maneuver. Right. So that is also a real cool feature in those mirrors. We unfortunately don't see the blue line um, in game. We do see a blue line in the um, in the mod for the um, Mercedes MP5 truck. That mod uses the blue line, but you would think that it's just the, the divide between. The big mirror and the small mirror but actually the blue line has a purpose in real life it has a purpose okay where do i need to park to get my oh wait first i need to pick it up of course um and also what well, what is uh what is nice chris but not really for us because we have the game but for people who want to try out the new devs so DAF is now using it for possible customers. Um, the, the, there, there is a working together with SES software, DAF and NVIDIA. And they created a testing platform online, web browser based for phones, tablets and uh, just computers or laptops where you can test the new 2021 XF, XG, XG Plus, and even the old XF Space Cap um, on a specially made dev testing map online. Uh, I've put the link in chat somewhere, so if you scroll back, or I can put the link there again. I have it uh, right here, just a sec. Um, so Top this truck. is where you Select have to start. Model. You can drive it virtually. You can drive Click it virtually. Door. Click on the door. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to put the link in chat again. So that is for people who don't have the game or who don't have a state-of-the-art gaming computer or whatever. And they can just test out these trucks. Really cool. A cooperation between DAF, SES software, and nvidia unfortunately you have to drive the truck with your keyboard although i saw like for a brief moment the picture popping up for a controller so tomorrow i'm going to try 
to um, see if the controller is the controller is working as well. It's quite possible that that is going to be possible. It's quite possible that that is going to be possible. Okay, yeah. Cool. And this is not going well because I have the steering axle in the back. I forgot. So, um, yeah, people can test out the truck, um, whether it's for the truck or whether it's for the, to see what experience you can get in the game. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a nice little something that SES Software and, uh, Def and NVIDIA put together. And it's mainly for, um, possible deaf clients who just want to test out the truck and testing out is again we can't say anything about uh, comfort but you can have a nice view or feeling about how the truck is going to look like on the inside There we go. And there is a giveaway going on, Chris. And everybody else. There is a giveaway going on now. And the giveaway, well, I'm pretty sure that there is going to be information on their blog real soon or now. Or oh, yeah, it's already there. Now you have to use the hashtag RoydDev. And the giveaways uh, to participate, all you need to do is to visit the Dev Drive app. So that is the thing I, I I just talked about, the online platform to test out the trucks. Um, do a test drive in one of the new Duff XF, XG or XG Plus vehicles and share a screen capture from it over Twitter, Instagram or Facebook under the hashtag uh, hashtag ride dev along with tagging our dev trucks profile and nvidia geforce now's profile and of course ses software and later they will pick a few of those posts that will um steal our hearts and reward them with a very exclusive prize we can't wait to see all the posts we don't know what we're going to win but um, Marie was there again. Marie, the uh, the Dutch lady from uh, DAF in, in the Czech Republic. And um, when the Miro said we have some very cool stuff to give away, she was actually acknowledging it. So I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe min a min miniature truck a miniature new xf or xg or xg plus i don't know we will see they didn't say what we can win and they are not saying in in their blog post either so okay here we go folks 709 kilometers um maybe i should create the convoy now so that people can join if they want to um Let's do that first. Convoy. Let's create a convoy. Confirm. That side is not working for me on phone. Might have to look on the PC instead. Uh, it should work on phone, mate. The link over dev showroom. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, the dev showroom. And from within that showroom, you can go to the... Um, to the testing map of DEF. Have they updated the sounds on 1.43? It sounds more louder with the rain than that. Um, yes, Chris. Uh, 1.43 got an update regarding sound indeed, and especially the sound within the cabin. So um, everything sounds different, sounds more immersive, or that is at least where they want to go to. Um, I'm I'm not really convinced yet for 100%, but 
because um, with this update, it's like we have lots of isolation <laughs> in the truck. It's it's like we are sitting in in bare bare metal plate cage or something where you can hear everything twice as loud all of a sudden. I'm not really convinced about that yet, but they also said that it was the first step towards more. So, uh, but yes, uh, with 1.43, we did get an update related to sound on the inside of the truck cabins. I will send you a pic of what I'm getting. Well, to be frankly honest, mate, to be frankly honest, I didn't try it out on my phone yet. I only tried it out on um, on the internet, obviously. Um, I'm now going to check out if it works for me, just a sec. Um, but also, what do they say? Um, I mean, let me first check it out. Wait a minute. Let me first check it out. I first need to go to my own stream to find the link. <laughs> Uh, of course, now my phone is... Wow, my Wi-Fi is not activated? What the fuck? Oh my god, mate, what the hell is going on with the Wi-Fi here all the time? Okay, on my phone, I can't even go there. Uh, Virtualexperience.dov.com I'm just going to my web browser. Uh, now, virtual experience experience.dev.com Boom. Welcome to the Dev Virtual Experience Central Hall. Turn your device, okay? I turn my... Oh, wow. It's with augmented reality, mate. Hey, <laughs> cool. It's with augmented reality. Cool. Just a second, guys. I will be right back. and here we are again i hope yeah yeah i'm not muted no not muted okay i don't have music running so i'm first going to have a look for some a little bit of a music uh, excuse me a a little bit of a music It's nicer with a bit of music, right? 
Okay, so for me, Chris, it's all, well, when I'm, does the virtual experience, um, Chris, well, what is not, oh, wait a minute, oh, I lost my, hey, Jeffrey, oh, my God, how are Arrow and friends, hey, Jeffrey, how are you, mate, I was not paying attention, I was listening in the background, there's something wrong with my daughter again, um, all right, um, hello to Jeffrey, 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 good evening, buddy, good evening, um, hey, Chris, uh, does it work for you that you are in the virtual dev, um, showroom? Can you walk around in the showroom? Because for me, that is augmented reality-like. I can, that is really cool, and, and now I can go to dev experience... Uh, start your driving experience of the brand new generation DEF XF, XG and XG Plus. Um, are you using a mobile or tablet? To experience to drive fully, you will require a desktop. Oh! Just a second, Chris. To experience the drive fully, you will require a desktop. Send yourself a reminder for once you are behind your desk again by filling in the email below. <laughs> All right, so the driving itself is only possible on a desktop. I'm sorry, mate. Maybe I, I, I um, told you all a little bit wrongly maybe maybe i gave you guys the impression that you can drive on your phone as well but that is not working that is not working so you need a desktop uh but what you can do is walking around in the um dev showroom and it's actually augmented reality it's it's really cool i i turn around and on my phone it's also turning around and I can see all the the brand new DAF models over there. I can also swipe with my finger, but I can just walk around. And when I walk, I go forward and backwards, and I, this is really cool. <laughs> that is really cool, mate. Joffrey, yeah, Joffrey. <laughs> um, you're now Joffrey. Hey, Joffrey. <laughs> Oh, and now I'll... Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Here it is. Here it is. So I can virtually walk around in the uh, DAF uh, showroom, which is really cool. Which is really cool. All right. Uh, my rotation not working for some reason. Oh, so even the virtual reality is not working. Okay. Uh, that is... A not virtual reality, augmented reality. Or, yeah, augmented reality. Yeah, for me, uh, it is working there. And I walked to the door, and I was walking through the showroom, actually. That was really cool. <sighs> okay, um, did I pick up the load now already, or... I was going to do something, and I don't know what anymore. What was I... Why did I stop my truck? I lost my whole... <sighs> I don't know anymore what I was going to do. I don't know anymore. Alright, here we go, folks. So, yes, um, something changed related to the sound, Chris. Yes, that's a big yes. Um, I have to tell you that the sound you hear from me, from the Duff, is not the original left sound. Turn left. That's not the original sound.
this is uh, a somewhat improved duff sound. This draft is this draft is so nice to, nice to drive with, mate. And when you're driving on three screens like me, it's even nicer with these in-game mirrors, digital mirrors. I don't know how I need to call them. Do I call them mirrors? Do I digital mirrors? Do I call them rear view cameras? Do I don't know. I don't know how to call them. Go straight on. Well, uh, it's better like this because I have my mirror even more to the. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's a cool look. It's really a cool look. Um, what do we have there? I don't know why the mate. Uh, when I update it, just a sec. I'm first going to do my maneuver and drive a bit slower. When I update it to 1.43, I could tell the sound had changed. I told was my headphone was broken. It sounded like my window was down, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, well, for me, my first experience was it was raining. And I told that I was listening to the rain while I was sitting in a tin can or something. That is how it sounds now. So, I don't know. I, I'm not... That's what I meant with... I'm not 100% convinced that this was the right direction to go in. Because it sounds like crap. It sounds like crap. It is like I'm sitting in a tin can and there is no isolation whatsoever anymore. That is how it sounds like. Now, of course, I have an engine mod, an engine sound mod. But um, even with the original sounds, it sounds like crap. I'm not convinced. They did say that it was a first step towards, so... It was just, um, yeah, it, 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 it definitely uh, will need tweaking. Uh, I think that they have to get rid of it altogether. That's just my personal opinion right now, as it is right now. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. So uh, we are already a little bit in uh, Christmas atmospheres. My curtains are Christmas. I have a little Christmas tree at my dash. Um, the big Christmas tree in the center of the truck I didn't do yet. That was a little bit overkill. Um, maybe I can do that um, later on. I don't know. I have to... Oh, yeah. I, I still have to have a look if... Um, the winter mod of Frosty is already up and running and updated. I think it is. Are you using your phone or tablet for chat? I'm using my tablet for chat, mate. I'm using my tablet for chat. Why? Is something wrong? Oh yeah. I should have a look now uh, in there, the mirror, uh, the mirror. The, um, yeah, that's cool. I can actually, if I put my camera like this, up, 
now I can see my mirrors and I can see through that uh, door over there <laughs> I can see the emergency lane through my door yay <laughs> that is only going to give you benefits when you are in um, in in urban areas cities um, villages little towns um, the purpose of that window in the passenger door side is for safety of course safety purposes it's to see bicycles pedestrians uh, people riding a moped or, or whatever that comes on the passenger side of your truck it's just an extra safety measure so that you can see those people just seeing what you kept looking at <laughs> yeah that's my tablet mate that's my tablet <laughs> it's it's a little bit downwards right <laughs> uh, so out of your left window you can see all the traffic coming out of my left but yeah 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 definitely I see now the car yeah well, out of my left window, seeing traffic coming, no, it's my left window. Uh, when I look to, f to see traffic coming, I need to look in my, my rear view mirror. You can't see traffic coming by looking through your left window. If I look through my left window, I do see everything on the left of me. I see factories now over there and cranes. They are building more factories over there. Um, of course when cars come from behind me i see them through my mirror before i can see them actually coming on my corner here and in front of me i can already see them right next to me yes but that's all it's it's not like i'm looking through a window and i see what happens behind me that is not what's happening it's just like um, the feeling that you have now is just like in a car if you look left you really look through your left window if i look right you really look through your right window that's cool that's cool mate i'm jealous <laughs> yeah well i waited for a long time to do that and i needed something extra to have my chat on and i recently bought myself a cheaper uh definitely not a big ass samsung or whatever tablets a cheaper tablet with only 32 gigs of um, internal storage but it's more than enough for what I needed I needed for my uh, for when we're going to play Dungeon and Dragons to read my uh, my books on I, I have my books all on there and um, I'm using that tablet now for my chat so yeah wonderful actually to be to be honest I need a fourth computer screen now. I need one on top of my middle screen. That would be awesome. Just to put my chat on. <laughs> that is what I need now. But if I do that, then I also need a stand. A stand that lets me put uh, a screen on top of another screen. So that would be even more awesome if I would have the money to have another to, to have a stand and have another extra screen and then i can and do my stream and see my stream lapse obs out there uh, but hey pff, i'm already happy that i can do it on a on a tablet 
I'm not a professional streamer. I wish I was, since I'm not having a job and I'm at home with my back. I wish I could make this my job, but um, it's not going that well, so I have to stop spending money on it as well, because it's not because I'm going to earn uh, it's not because I'm going to spend more money on my setup that all of a sudden I'm going to have hundreds of viewers and donators and whatever that make it happen for me. So, uh, no. Fourth screen will be when I'm 80, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Never say never. But uh, it's definitely different now and um, well I thought with the fact that I have three screens that replaces the head tracking device um, yes uh, in that point of view that I see my review mirrors now without having to turn my head oh, yeah, I do turn it a little bit but you know what I mean and um, um, but you you could still use a head tracking device as well because then if I would use my three screens and head tracking device then you would come pretty close to what's virtual reality at least in the movements you make I think I have the wrong gearbox settings in the settings. I don't know, I'm not sure. Or I drove my man truck with the gearbox settings of a DAF. I think now I'm, I'm starting to realize that I probably drove my man truck with the gearbox settings of a DAF truck. Wow. One day you will make... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Makes the game more realistic. Yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely... I'm glad with my three screens, really. Well, I already had three screens. The reason why I didn't do it earlier is... I told you guys that many times before. It's just because I didn't have anything to put my chat on. And to get the, um, the likes and the shares and everything. Well, the likes and the shares... I'm simply doing by watching my own stream on which I have my chat and on which I have that event list that you guys see as well in the upper right corner. That is what I'm basing myself on now to see my likes and, and shares and follows uh, coming through and donations. But yeah, this is cool. So the difference for you guys is that... Uh, basically, you guys see the same thing as ever when I was not using my head tracking device. So the only thing that you guys don't see now is when I look to the left or the right, I do see what's playing in my rearview mirrors. But you guys can only see the, um, the left mirror. You guys can't see the right one. And when I have my head tracking device and I look to the right, you guys also saw my right mirror because that one popped up at the screen. So I could do like this and then you guys also see that mirror. But um, it's not the same. So that's the only difference for you guys now. You do see... Um... um what you normally saw, the center screen. But you don't see the right view, rear view mirror anymore. Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna come and mute. Just a second, guys. My wife is going to explain something to me, so I am going to mute myself for a sec. Oh shit, I'm making a mistake, wait. 
I'm going to mute myself for a sec. I'm going to keep driving, but I have to listen here, so I will be right back. Uh, am I muted now? Yes or no? No, that's muted on... No, I'm not muted. Okay, just as... Oh, my goodness. Fucked. Okay, I'm going to park, guys. I just have to move park i need to listen here i can't mute myself um no i'm not muted chris i know i saw <laughs> and apparently my shorts my quick controls to mute my mic are not working oh wait a minute am i muted now no i'm not muted right you can still hear me right you can still hear me now It's really delay. Well, uh, nevertheless, I'm just quickly going to give you the be right back screen. And I will be right back.
Alrighty, guys. Here we are again. I hope. Am I back? Am I unmuted? Yes, I am. Woo! <laughs> and that way, everybody runs away. Yes, sir. God damn it. <sighs> Actually, I should the proportions now are not 100 percent so this is better this is better wait a minute this is it, it's weird with those mirrors on the inside so it's weird uh, i can't put my my rear view camera view not all the way to the side of the screen that was what i was going to try but that is not logic normally when you have outdoor mirrors they are going to be there but i put myself a little bit to the back to see my whole gps and actually that is not good uh it should be like this and i should have a gps on the screen then or something i don't know or 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 i should have a view a little bit more like this yeah this is going to be better okay here we are again folks and we're going to continue our trip but um can't hear you kidding ah okay <laughs> you dumbass But now I just look right and I see my review mirror and you know what it is? I uh, I see my review mirror and my review mirror is as big as my left rear view mirror. And that is what's cool. So you don't need to zoom in. Like if I did it with my head tracking device, then you got something like like I'm, re I'm going to do it real quick that i don't hit anything but when i did it it was like this but then your rear view mirror is actually small right so when i look right it's actually small and because it's small even even if i had my um head tracking device and i didn't need my hands to push any buttons to look to the right i still needed one hand to push this button to zoom in to see the rear view mirror um close from up close so i still needed a finger and now i don't need it anymore with three screens your rear view mirror on the right side or for you the left side is as big as um on the on the left side and for you the right side and is that logic is it realistic not 100 percent. so it is a little bit um um how do they say that the the proportions are a little bit out of proportion but it's not like it's ugly it's not like oh what the fuck is that that doesn't look like you're sitting in your truck and the dashboard is one one piece and it still looks like that my dashboard is one piece my rear view mirror is just yeah bigger than than if i do it like this and that way that is exactly the way how i can now really use my mirrors to park like it is right now with the three screens i can really use my mirrors to park and that's cool that's cool I'm still looking there in in that window to see if I see lights from another car that was maybe in my blind spot, but it isn't. And now I'm going to make some mistakes. 
that truck is going to stop for me thank you very much there we go uh, if I did three screens I don't think I would want to stream or probably worry about my graphics card doing it um, what graphics card do you have Chris I mean I just have a GTX 1060 that's all I have I don't have a GTX 2060 or 2070 or 80 or 30 or, or an, an RTX I don't even have RTX I have a GTX 1060 and I'm having three screens running without any problems and I can even put a fourth screen on there without having any issues I know somebody who has the same graphics card as, as I do and they have four screens and it runs proper and somebody came in on discord but I have no clue who that was or is your, your best friend ah uh, shiny boy <laughs> how are you I'm good I'm good and you yeah good and not good <laughs> It was good until I came in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. Bye. Kids, kids. Take a couple of kids, they said. It's going. Oh my god, he's gone. The motherfucker just left me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is pretty alright. Uh, some issues with, yeah, private. Yeah. Shoot! Or were you just coming over to be social? Yeah. Ah. Alrighty then. Strange things happen. Yeah. Very strange things. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> uh. You're driving the truck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Chris, but I should try taking your steering wheel off, see what, oh, see what it's like. Why should I take my steering wheel off, mate? Why should I take my steering wheel off? Uh, you have the 2070 and an RTX. Look at that, mate. Are you worried about your graphics? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like I said, I only have a GTX 1060 and I'm running three screens without any issues playing and streaming. And like I said, I know somebody who has the same card as mine and has four active screens. So I should be able to put a fourth one up. Yeah, you. if you have an RTX 2070 then you're going to run three screens and streaming without problems, mate. In the trunk of me. Oh, yeah, the steering wheel. Yeah, but that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I can, I can zoom it in so that you don't see it anymore. But then you're like with your nose at your uh, windscreen. That is not cool either. But you can't take the steering wheel off, mate. Uh, somebody else told me that already and then using the console and steering wheel underscore blah 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 and this and that and I tried it but nothing happens so I don't know mate there should be a way I've heard it before but uh, I don't know anymore who it was maybe it was you I don't know I don't know anymore who told me that but they gave me then one of those console um, settings to make your steering wheel disappear. But um, that definitely didn't work. G steering underscore wheel zero. That doesn't work, mate. That doesn't work. Look, I'm, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to park. I'm, we're going to try it again. 
Last time I, I tried that, it didn't work. Unless it's not a console command and unless I have to do it in the settings file itself. That is maybe possible, but last time you or somebody else told me it's a console command. Was it the right command? It was that command, mate. G underscore steering underscore wheel. Uh, let's let's try it. G. Underscore. Steering. Underscore. Wheel. Space. Zero. There you go. Unknown command. Unknown command. G underscore steering underscore wheel zero. That doesn't work, mate. Doesn't work. G underscore steering underscore wheel space zero. Doesn't work. I've done it in the con you you see me doing it now, Chris. You see me doing it and it doesn't work. Unknown command, it says. Unknown command. Uh, I think it's you who told me that last time as well. But uh, as you can see, I can't do anything else than doing it while you're watching. It doesn't work. But I wouldn't know why I would uh, make my steering wheel disappear. Then for you guys who are watching, it's not looking uh, realistic then. Then I'm driving a truck without a steering wheel. How am I going to explain that to sane people? Oh, wait a minute. Nobody sane is watching me. And what are you doing, John? Minecraft. Uh, take the exit right. No, at the moment I'm looking what game to play. But I guess it's gonna be Astroneer. Astroneer. Boom, 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 boom. It's getting daytime uh, again. This is a wonderful truck to drive. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm busy with translating the basic rules for uh, Dungeon and Dragons. Yeah, I saw your uh, your message. So the basics in English are like, I think about 65 pages. And yeah. uh, now I'm translating them to Dutch. Proper translating. Um, I looked it up first if I could find any Dutch versions, but nothing mate, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, websites or blogs that give their own uh, version of the rules in Dutch, but not really yeah. the basic rules translated in Dutch. No, I know. So I'm doing that now. I, yeah, most of you are not going to have an issue with English, but it's always nice to be able to read something in Dutch, right? And while I'm doing it, I'm actually pumping those <laughs> rules in my own tick skull. It's yeah. it's helping me to study the rules actually. Yeah, I understand. Because believe it or going not, to be, we're going to die quickly. Eh? We have no tank. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jeffrey is going for uh, a rogue, I think. Um, yeah. but yeah, it, nothing is set in stone yet, so. And uh, the other people, Jampi, didn't even give me anything yet. I, uh, I'm almost sitting on my knees to beg for a name and a class and a race, but, uh, still nothing. Well, yeah. If everybody would be as driven as I am right now to start with it, 
it would be cool. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm afraid with what I'm doing now, those translations, and, and I really need to do it because the more I read, the more I see that I have to study, or the more I'm studying. And to be a dungeon master, it's it's. Um, and if I want to have the adventure going smoothly and fluidly, I really need to do that and and study and and that way studying all the rules because I need to know them. You can you guys can take everything as you go from me, but I need to know them. Yeah, I, I, know. I need to know how everything works. I need to know what happens in a fight, uh, what needs to happen before a fight, what needs to happen during a fight, what needs to happen after a fight, what needs to happen uh, when you guys need to rest, uh, what's the difference between a short rest and a long rest. Uh, oh my goodness, yeah. so much. <laughs> you have to keep track of time. <laughs> yep, yep, keeping track of time, keeping track of distance, keeping track of weight. Um, yeah. yeah, lots of things. One thing I am going to do though are uh, gold coins or silver coins. Or what, yeah, it's 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 always gold coins. Um, is not going to count towards the total capacity of weight. Yeah. Um, normally you can well when you want to do it uh, the difficult way. Gold coins also go for your weight capacity. What you can what you can uh, carry. But I'm not going to do that. And it is an option in the rules that a game master can decide to not let it count for weight. Yeah, we but haven't done it either. There are so many things that I need to, to look into. So I, I bought myself the um, the book for the initial adventure. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I bought myself that book. I bought myself the books, the player's handbook, the original one, the monster's handbook. And the Dungeon Master's Handbook, I bought them all. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to buy the Player's Handbook for me also. Yeah. I think when playing that you can... You can look up a lot of things. Well, for the first adventure we're going to do, you, you're alright with just the basic rules. But the Player's Handbook is definitely come in handy when you... Um, uh, when you're going to proceed to next adventures but what I can also do is but then I need to put a little bit more money into it uh, you have that Dungeon and Dragons Beyond website yeah. and you can subscribe there to a yearly subscription and what you can do then with that cheapest yearly subscription is sharing your original books so like I have okay. those original dungeon Ma dungeon master book, uh, player's handbook, and the monster book, but definitely the player's handbook. If I would have a subscription, I can share it with you guys, and nobody needs to buy it. Oh yeah. And um, so that's first and second. I have it in 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 a PDF form, but it's 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 not original, of course. It's somebody who took scans. And the reason why I, I told you that I had worth 700 euros and more of books, but well, it's actually yeah. worth nothing because. It's not uh, easy to use it. <laughs> no, and the dudes uh, left out blank pages, right introduction there. pages where only the, the, the edition and the year are on, and you know, all that stuff that you don't need. He left it all right. out, and that means that the pages do not add up. So when you go oh, to yeah. the uh, to the index, and you have like okay, um, uh, resting, resting, uh, long rest, short rest, page that much, you go to that page, and it's some it's something completely different. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, fuck this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I had a freshly uh, payout of my Facebook donation, so I spent it all on official D and D books. Yeah, well, it was 100 and euros. <laughs> oh, lots of money. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, uh, I do have a feeling that I will be launched, and after that session, we're going they to continue with other stories, 
And I have everything in hand then to write my own. With the monster manual and the um, dungeon master manual, you have all the tools in hand to create your own adventures. So, yeah, I see. that is definitely going to happen as well. But, first things first, the first adventure. And therefore, I have the original book as well. And uh, I'm translating the basic rules, which is going to benefit for Angel and, uh, and, and Witch, Kati. And um, especially for me to learn everything. It really helps me to put everything in my head. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Because it is a lot. It, it, it's, it's all stupid, actually, but it is a lot, and you need to know how it goes. Um, like, before a fight, there has to be... D20 rolls, uh, testing on, on dexterity, testing on this, testing on that. Uh, as a dungeon master, you need to know how, how, how it all works. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like that. Only that is already enough and, and there is so much more that comes with it. But I'm 100% I'm um, driven to do it like, if i only was oh, driven totally in fine. real life for a job or something but yeah <laughs> uh, i'm really driven and i'm doing it and i'm studying and it it doesn't bother me if i have to study something for whatever real thing in life it bothers me but for this it doesn't bother me <laughs> yeah, it, it only bothers you when it, it's not in your interest <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shit told you the wrong command. Okay, Chris, we're going to try that again, mate. Well, the thing is, Chris, for I'm going to try it, but for now, it doesn't add up, right? For you guys, it's it's it, it's not going to look natural. Uh, the moment I can actually use that command is when I'm going to put... Well, that is also something I need to buy. I need a tripod for my big Canon camera, right? And when I can put that one behind me and, and um, film everything that happens in front of me and give you guys that footage, then it would be a good thing that I can um, delete the steering wheel in-game. But look, let's, let's try it. So R underscore steering wheel steering underscore wheel space zero, right? Ha! <laughs> it's gone. Oh shit, my steering wheel is gone. Hey look, there's even a key in the in the ignition. <laughs> oh my god, that is the first time I see this. There is a steer. Uh, there is a key in the ignition, mate. Mm -hmm. Or is that a, a USB stick? <laughs> hey, that's cool. So yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I'm actually seeing more now. Hey, I'm seeing everything properly now. But it doesn't look cool for you guys, right? It, it doesn't look natural for you guys. It definitely does for me now. Hey, that's cool. And now that it's it's gone, I can actually... Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that is cool. I can now... I can now do this. Make it all... Oh, yeah, mate. It doesn't matter because uh, you can't really see... Hey, this is cool. But then again, I don't see my GPS anymore. God damn it. That's not the... Uh... Oh. I can do this. Alright. But this is actually cool. <laughs> And then if you want it back, just add a one. Yeah, yeah, I figured. I figured that already. So, but now for you guys, it's it's not looking naturally, right? Is it? 
Uh, you don't see a steering wheel. For me, it looks naturally, but not for you guys. Right? On the other hand, if it doesn't bother you, I'm going to keep it like this. It's better for me, though. I have a nice... I can zoom in more and still have a nice view on my dash. Without seeing that steering wheel in front of it. But nah, it doesn't look natural. That's only good if I can do the... Um, um, the thing with the camera behind me. It's only good to do that. Here we go. We have it back. Yeah, without a steering wheel is it's it's a weird it's a weird view. It's a weird view. It's like you're driving a truck without a steering wheel. That that doesn't nah. No, that that's not right. That's just not right. <laughs> doesn't feel right. Here we go. This feels better. <laughs> Alrighty, we did our first trip with our wonderful brand new Duff XF truck. I didn't use that window at any time, actually, to be honest. But hey, we have it. <laughs> um, how does the horn? Okay. What bothers me, though, is that I'm not getting my personalized um number plate it's going by your steering wheel though yeah right, it is an interesting command if you uh if you have a view from behind then it's definitely an interesting command because you can align your camera so that it looks like your steering wheel is actually the steering wheel in the truck. The only thing is, uh, the only thing that I'm, I'm I'm bothered with already is that I will have to put my camera somewhere on the left side behind me because on the right side you have that stupid boom here of my mic and I can't do anything else with it. And on the left side, I don't have place for a tripod there. So uh, that's going to be an issue. So I will have to uh, buy myself such a gyros, copical set to put the camera on my chair and all. And yeah, yeah. Uh, who's going to start the donations rolling? <laughs> All right, it's a raining day. Oh, I was going to check something else in the settings, though. That gearbox, right? What gearbox did I put in? The ZF-16 Speed, you see? I drove that man truck with the gearbox of a DAF truck. Wow. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, indeed, uh, John, we don't have a tank. What are you thinking about then? A dwarf? Yeah, someone who can carry uh, big swords and uh, fat yeah. armor. Eh? A dwarf or a barbarian human. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <sighs> yeah, that's going to be an issue indeed. That's going to be an issue. Mm-hmm. Just quickly going to do something, folks, on my um, stream deck. Um, I'm having a little issue still with the stream deck. Uh, not an issue. There is something missing on my stream deck, and I'm going to add that right now. Um, create a folder. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing my simulator game, my driving simulator games. On three screens now. Wow. Yeah. That is so cool. I didn't do that before because I needed a fourth screen to put my chat on when I'm streaming. And everything. But I have a, a new tablet now to um, read all my D&D &D stuff on. <laughs> yeah. 
and um, yeah now I can use my three screens as three screens really cool when you drive a truck yeah uh, I only have one screen let's just start the, 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 the ultra wide um how big is it 34 yeah, that's already something. Uh, that's uh, all, that's easy. already something. It's uh, great for uh, productive work, mm. but for streaming sometimes it's a hassle. Yeah, well, probably the same as me now with my three screens. If I didn't have my tablet, it yeah, it's it's pff, stupid. Oh, when you use OBS. Uh, you, you can't stream uh, white to Twitch. So uh, I have to play a game windowed at uh, 1080p to have a nice, yeah, a nice visual. On the yeah, screen. yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise, yeah, when you I put get it, uh, so. the white stuff, you have the, uh, yeah, the, the black and uh, the black border on top and uh, below your your game mm -hmm. well yeah it is yeah. what it is <laughs> <laughs> okay guys i'm just going to uh four no 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 forward okay forward title and i put the uh oh my god and I put an icon there? No. Okay. Forward. Forward. There we go. Just talk to me, guys. If you have questions or whatever, just talk to me. I'm I'm busy in the background. I'm going to put some extra keys on my stream deck, keys that were there before, but now not anymore. Um, to steer my uh, virtual camera when I'm when I press zero, my external camera in the game, right? Um, so that I don't have to reach over my steering wheel on my keyboard to the numeric part of my keyboard to steer that external camera it's it's an unnatural thing to do the way i'm set up here so um i'm going to put those controls on my stream deck which is going to be easier um i'm looking for a picture a simple picture of Arrows, come on, arrows, forward, backward, left, right, seriously. Not in this batch. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's all the same now. Oh, World of Warcraft. So, no, not here. Um, stream icon, stream deck buttons. Stream deck buttons. What do we have here? Forward, backward, left, right. Nope, nothing. All the... Um, all the, the the settings for a stream deck or a key some kind of keyboard all the icons for the truck i have here for the lights for the blinks for the hazards for pff, everything really cool but i don't need them right now uh come on do i not have one collection of icons that are having the four arrows? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. <sighs> Christmas. Oh, yeah. Nova stream. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
Nope. Not this. And this. What is this? Uh, game and emoticons. Emotes. Mm, nope. Games. Wow. A lot of games. Uh, icons. Thank you. Just the four arrows. Oh, I have left. I have right. Do I have up and down? Oh my god. I don't. This is a collection which gives me an arrow to the left, an arrow to the right, but up and down. Go fuck yourself. Stream operating system. Yeah, this one I like. This one I really like. I want that whole bundle, but it's 30 euros. A whole complete new look of my stream. I would be so cool. Windows 95. <laughs> all icons and, and, and boxes and all Windows 95 look like. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Going retro. <laughs> Yeah. How retro can you go? <laughs> yeah, you know, I uh, several months ago I had an in the intervention at a hospital in uh, Charleroi, mm -hmm. and they were still using a Windows 2000 server. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh my. That guy Goodness. from IT told me, yeah, there's only one thing that's uh, annoying. When the power is cut down, uh, we we have to set the clock manually because the battery is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Brad, yeah, yeah. hey Arne, good evening. Welcome to the stream, mate. Hey, good evening. What's the time? Oh, it's not going to be... Uh, I'm going to try to do my best, guys, to do another trip. But first, I need these buttons. I really need these buttons on my stream deck. I'm just looking, simply looking for... <laughs> the four arrows of a keyboard to have icons. Of it. I would have been faster if I just downloaded them somewhere. What the hell? This... Oh, wait. Arrow up. I have an arrow up here. I have an arrow to the left. I have an arrow to the right. I and we have an arrow down. Yes. Okay. Forward is where is that arrow up? Hello. Here. Ching. Yes. We have the arrow up. Okay. Then here we're going to put the wait a minute, is eight, is it five? Then here we put the arrow down, hotkey up, and the hotkey is actually click to sign. The hotkey is actually five, five, and that's the arrow down that I need. Where is the arrow down? Here it is. Arrow down. There we go. Then we have the arrow up, 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 up. The arrow to the left. Hotkey. Which is four. Uh, yeah, four. Click to sign. Arrow four. And that's the one to the left where is it here it is there we go and then here a hot key and that is going to be click to sign arrow six and that is um key to the right which is this one so up, down, left, right. And what else do we... Oh, shit. The 
for the free cam what do we have eight is forward five is backwards four is to the left six is to the right but seven nine one two three now i'm does that have a function i don't know anymore I don't know anymore if that has a function, yes or no, in the free cam. Uh, hey, Reese. Good evening there, buddy. How's life treating you? I hope you had a nice day. So, I have backward, uh, forward, backward, left, right. And then I need the keys to take a screenshot, which is F10. So we are going to put a hotkey over there. That hotkey is F10. There we go. And that is a screen record. What icon are we going to use for that? Um, do we have a photo, a camera? Do we have... In the same series a camera picture icon or i can just take a computer screen icon which is the same for a screenshot first have a look if we have a camera icon no we don't then we are going to take a oh here a picture even better even better mate look at that look at that a picture bomb screenshot there we go and what else do we need oh the drop down is control f9 control f9 is uh dropping down the truck hotkey over there assign control f9 there we go uh same stuff every day mate my day has been quiet alrighty buddy Same shit, different day, we say. <laughs> Same shit, different day. What I can could we use could I use to drop my truck down? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what I can am I going to use to drop my truck? Yeah, an arrow down would be logic, but that's already my moving down dropping my truck oh a house bringing my truck home a house there we go and now we need to test this let's go in the game let's drive I already know which button I'm missing. The zero, of course. So, uh, we need to press... Um, where am I going to put that button? Over there. The zero button, hotkey over there. Hotkey I said over there. Assign zero. And that's going to be free cam. Now I really need an icon with a camera now, of course. Um, an icon with a cam, a cam icon, a cam icon. Come on, I have a series somewhere with a camera icon. Same shit, different day. Yeah, that's how we say it here, race. Same shit, different day. <laughs> Same shit, different day. Oh yeah, baby. Follow me. Yay! Come follow, 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 follow me. We the shall follow, follow, follow. We the shall follow, follow me. To the green woods, to the green woods, to the green woods, follow me. <coughs> Rape. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Uh, come on, give me an icon that shows me a freaking camera. Is that so difficult? Oh my goodness. All these icon sets and they can't give me a... Uh, wait a minute, set from file. <laughs> set from file. Maybe I can find a... Camera icon somewhere in my decks on my hard drive. Photoshop, no, a camera I need, not Photoshop, a camera! Oh, these are all games. Woo! Game, 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 game! A camera, camera, camera. Oh, such a, um, a clip board yeah no that's not a camera <laughs> i'm not difficult i'm just a bit difficult okay retro icons a retro icon is definitely going to give me a camera icon right come on we do in windows 95 we do have a camera icon Come on, give me a camera icon. Uh, I'm going to lose it. Give me a camera icon. I do know we have a camera icon in Windows 95. Please, give me that icon. Who am I talking to? Oh, here it is. Ha! Camera icon. I knew it. There we go. There we go. ka -ching! Windows 95 is saving my day. <laughs> Tell that to a normal human being. Hey, Chris. Uh, just got a text message saying I've got another interview, mate. On Thursday. Woo! And what interview might that be? Oh, yeah. There are other functions still. Um, nine up and three down. Yeah, nine up and down. I still need. Oh, 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 oh! Drive, drive. I'm sorry. Um, so let's go out of it. So uh, up and down. Oh shit! How am I going to do that? I have... Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's going to be a disaster. Ah, this is uh, key 9. And this is key 3. And now I need an icon to go down. But going down is an arrow down. But the arrow down is already in use to go backwards. So... How am I? <laughs> Next problem to tackle. I need a Nikon from the... Let's see. A Nikon that shows me that I'm going... Down. Oh, such a double arrow. No, double arrows are going left and right. Not up and down. Hmm. Plus and minus? Let's use plus and minus, maybe. Let's see if I can find something in the same trend. Wait. Up and down. Now oh, that's backward forwards. Backward forwards. Uh, no. Up and down. So let's use plus and minus. Plus to increase the height. And minus to decrease the height. Yep. There we go. Plus. And then this one is a minus. And there we go. Plus, minus. Drop. Picture. Yeah. Normally, this should be it. So when I'm in game and I press this and I do this and I do that. 
and I do that it's all working and here we have is it Namiri? no this is who is this Namiri? hello hello you guy I'm going to take a picture of you look into the camera thank you and we have ourselves a right and then back to the truck is like that okay a job but it has to be a short job it has to be a short job let's have a look world map no i need a cargo market job and we are right now in bourges france are we going to drive to le havre 23 tons with nylon cord blah 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 i don't care we're going to load and i just need to pick it up here and drive backwards again have a look it's going to be where i was parked wait oh no <laughs> where do i need to pick it up then over there We still have the issue that the mirrors in game are not 100% trustworthy um, in real life you have a way better look on on you see yeah oh well here we go load uh so i'm going to be the next max for stappen oh bringing a host marshal working to a go-karting place oh my goodness i'm going to be a next max for stappen <laughs> so i give people the red and yellow flag and check the go-karts out on the track so that will be cool that would be cool mate That will be cool, and you can go karting for free, mate. Wow. I'm going to move to um, England, and you're my best new, my new best friend. <laughs> bye bye, folks. See you next time. Tomorrow, I'm going to come pick up another load. Let's go. Last trip for the day. Go straight on.
There we go. 480 kilometers. We can do that easily within half an hour, right? check them out before the public can use them and they do proper races too and yes it will be cool mate i love go-karting mate uh, right turn ahead. used to do it a lot in the past turn right. they do championships and can get against each other is it outside or inside karting is it outside or inside karting a big difference though. I know one thing. I, I went karting a couple of times in my life. Not that much, but a couple of times. And I know one thing. A couple of hours after, and definitely the day after, your arms are hurling like hell, mate. You have muscles in your arms that you never realized you had before you went karting. Every time I did that, uh, I was pretty good at it. No fear, just going full throttle. Sliding the damn things a bit. <laughs> Oh, what are the... Oh my goodness, I had some weird... Colored cubes over there. Um, and my arms were weighing like lead. A couple of hours after being on the track for an hour or two. Indoor karting, but huge building. Top speed, 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. That's quite quick. That's quite quick for amateur indoor karting. That's quite quick. <sighs> you still alive, John? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shit. Alive. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ignore mode is on. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Then I don't have to listen to myself too much. Thanks. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, go fuck yourself. Oh, that would be a sight. I want to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt you could make that fast though because quite a few turns in that. Well, it would be cool, mate, wouldn't it? It would definitely be cool, mate. Uh, when do you have that interview? I uh, will have to put my uh, a rooting candle back on the um, on the screen. I will have to put that rooting candle back on the screen. On the screen, oh, I can't talk anymore. What the? F I see weird things, man. Look at all those lights. What? What the hell am I seeing? Oh, this is Christmas, man. What the hell? Look at that! Christmas... Trees! Look at that! What the hell is this? 
All these bushes are decorated. <laughs> oh my god. These bushes are decorated, mate. Well, I know how that comes, but... You guys are not going to have that. Unless you drive with me, then you need the same mods as me. <laughs> That's so cool. That whole corner is decorated. Cool. Yeah, I'm having a mod for the service stations. The service stations look like... Um, I don't know, they almost look like uh, Santa Claus workshop. <laughs> and therefore, in the world, some things are changed like there on the left. Oh yeah, you guys don't see it. It's on my left screen. There is another tree there decorated. And sometimes you see a blue van passing. And it's blue on top. The bottom is white, but it's like a carpet of snow. And then on the back doors... It's written Merry Christmas. It's really cool. Maybe uh, you don't see that van that much. So hopefully we are going to see it before I, I quit today. What's the time? Oh, 350 kilometers. I, I will have to uh, put the pedal to the metal. Oh, in it. Go all up your best. Where is that van? It's a bit. Uh, Keep your eyes open. It's a blue van with a white snowy carpet at the bottom. And at the rear doors it says, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. No, I didn't say ho, ho, ho. Would look good with the snow mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, oh, it's already two days that I'm saying... That I have to have a look at the uh, Frosty's Winter mod if the mod is ready already. But I think it is. I think that I heard some people are already using it. I hope it's uh, for update 1.43. Because I'm not going to downgrade. Uh-uh. I don't downgrade in order to use mods. To be able to use mods. Uh-uh. Then I rather not use the mod than having to downgrade to an earlier version. Uh uh, that's not going to happen. What the fuck is all of this, mate? Full speed ahead! Aye aye, Captain Kirk! It probably wasn't aye aye. Keep right. Keep right, why? Oh, that's why. That's why. only all, almost in his ass
That's my turbo kicking in, by the way. But I love to dramatize my turbo. Sounds more like uh, an almost dead cat. Oh, shit. Uh, I should try ATS and Forza Horizon at three screens. That would be cool, too. Um, Yeah, ATS, definitely. Forza Horizon? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have to try it, but I don't know if that is... A I uh, I played a bit of uh, Red Dead. Not every game is for three screens, I mean. I played uh, Red Dead Redemption 3 today with my dad and uh, my three screens were still active so I was playing it on three screens. It looked good and all and it ran good and all but I can tell you playing a shooting game on three screens is not really a good idea. Um, definitely because um, for... for um, ETS2 and ATS have their settings really alright, meaning that I'm playing on three screens, but I still have my whole HUD on one screen, on the center screen. So if I activate my um, GPS, my root advisor, like this now, it's here on the middle screen, so you guys are seeing it as well. But there are also settings that make that GPS disappear to your right screen. Or the left one, depending if you drive like a moron, like the English people. <laughs> Just kidding, Chris. Just kidding. But you guys do have the steer at the wrong side of the vehicle. Um, what was I about to say now? Um, shit, what was I saying? I lost the point. I was going, I was going to make a point and I lost it. I'm laughing with the English people and I don't know, I can't talk any karma. Um, oh yeah, and uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 3 is definitely not a game to play on three screens, no. Forza Horizon? Maybe. Maybe. Um, maybe. Maybe and maybe not. Maybe not. Why? Because most of the time you're driving as third-person view. You drive where you can see your car in front of you. In Forza Horizon, yes, you can drive first-person view as well. And then three screens could come in handy. But if you're most of the time driving in third-person view, there is not really a big use of your left and right screen. It gives you a bit more of the surroundings, but not really more details that you need. And I also don't know where the HUD is going to be. If the HUD is going to be in the middle screen, then yes. If the HUD is going to be separated on the left screen and the right screen, then no. And that is what, what is going on if you don't have the right settings for um, Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator as well. You can change some things in the in the config file. I can tell you which things, but then you have your root advisor on the right screen or on the left for the English people. And uh, what was it again? Something else on the left screen and that is not cool. You need your stuff that you need to keep an eye on in the middle screen. And if a game doesn't support that, then three screens is not easy to play. If you know what I mean, what I'm getting at. I see there is a new truck on ETS2. Uh, yes, Reese, I'm driving it. I'm driving it. It's the brand new DAF 2021 XF. Um, it's the one I'm driving. The inside is very much like the DAF XG and XG Plus. But uh, that car is going to drive into me, you see. Um, 
The inside is very much alike except for one thing and that is right there in the um, right in the passenger side door you can now put a window and that's a safety window to see uh, people on bicycles or pedestrians or whatever on that side it's it's helping you to cover if your um, your um, that angle your your dad yeah that angle that corner, that angle, whatever. Uh, the truck looks good. Uh, it looks very much the same as the XG and XG Plus, except for that window in the side there. You see? Further than that, it looks very much like a couple of small details that are different. Okay, 125 kilometers. I am going to make it. If I don't get into an accident, keep left. I'm left. Right, I'm oh, off. Uh, are you off? Yep. See yeah, you later. I knew it that you were a bit off, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you later, buddy. You. Thanks for passing by. And no problem, no. compliments over there. We'll do. Alrighty. Oh boy. Bye. Is there a new man truck? Uh, yes, there is. Is there a new truck in ETS2? Uh, yes, I said a man truck. And then the question is, is there a new man truck? Yes, there is a new man truck. Uh, no, 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 Reese. No, sorry. I'm the one. I'm the one who's wrong. Uh, yes, there is a new truck. It's not a man truck, it's a DAF truck. It's the um, DAF XF. We knew that truck was coming, or at least people who watch me knew that truck was coming because I already spoke about this truck. And I already said that this truck was going to come with different chassis options. Um, but yes, it's a, a new truck and no, it's not a man truck, but yes, it's a Death truck. The man truck, the man uh, Euro 6, uh, what is it? Uh, GT, no, it's not GTX, it's GXT, G GXT? The GXT, that one got an upgrade. So it's not a new man truck that they brought to the game, but they did give it an upgrade. Don't ask me what the upgrade is about, because the only thing I see, but I never drove, really drove a man truck, so I couldn't possibly know. But the only difference I see is the little plaque at the side of the door saying Efficient Line 3. And that is the update. That is the upgrade. The Efficient Line um, 3. I haven't played it yet too for a while now. I've just had a lot to do. You have to make time to drive your truck, buddy. <laughs> no. So uh, the man truck got an update. The man, uh, but which TX is it? GT? No, not GTX. That's my graphics card. Um. So it's that one of the Euro sixes there got an upgrade to the efficient line 3 uh, on the steering wheel it's not uh, the word DAF anymore it's a line um, same goes for the grill and um, some other small changes probably that I don't know of and on the door it has a little plaque efficient line 3 and then the DAF is a brand new DAF so the dev that I'm driving right now is a brand new one. Um, looks a lot like the XG and the XG Plus. Why? Because it's from the same family. The only difference is over there. Oh, 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 easy arrow. Easy, easy. The only difference is over there you have now a hole in your door. It's a window. It's a safety window. 
and that safety window is all about your dead angle or dead corner or whatever how they call it in English come on open the door thank you oh look at night so beautiful my Christmas lights woo I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wrong gear. Wrong gear. Oh, three screens are so easy, mate. Sunday left and it will be Christmas uh, I know one thing I know one thing that year flew by mate you can't imagine I can still remember watching the Grinch on Christmas Eve and I already have to do it again what the hell With the compliments of our youngest daughter. Christmas Eve is the Green Chief. Yay! They should make a separate uh, day for that for her. The Grinch Day. For her, for her it's Grinch Year. Every single day. Le Havre. Go round the roundabout, second exit. But um, Chris, going back to that sound inside the cabin, I don't, I don't like it very much. To be honest, I don't like it very much. Um, it sounds, I don't know, it sounds. Um, how does it sound? It sounds like I'm in a tin can or something, or Take the I don't know how I have to explain it properly, but it doesn't sound right. It, it sounds like metal ish. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, I don't like it very much I don't like it very much and normally I do like what SES software does but this time I don't like it very much hey look at my service station look look at my service station jingle bombs jingle bombs jingle bombs away cool isn't it my service station Jingle bombs, jingle bombs, jingle bombs away. Uh, yeah, it's gone so fast after Christmas. I'm getting my PC and internet, so yeah, it has to all the way. Can't wait, I can use my wheel then. My shifter. Yeah. Jingle bombs, jingle bombs, jingle bombs away. Oh, it's fine. Oh, what fine it is to drive. Right turn ahead. And I shoot the Christmas man away. Woo! 
jingle bombs, jingle bombs. Jingle bombs away. Oh, I'm trying to disturb Red. Oh, oh. Oh, mate. That white screen scared me for a bit. I thought that fence was going to attack me through my window. Damn, that was close. Oh, it's nice music to get in the mood. Now, whoa, whoa, arrow, arrow, arrow. That was a misjudgment. And now, so, oh, there we go. The only thing that's missing now is some sounds of whales or something. And then I can fall asleep. The home of you. Oh my god, but that is so... I don't know. Uh, with normal mirrors, I'm having no issues with uh, three screens. But with these internal digital rear view cameras, it's different. It's damn different. And when I'm parking right parallel with the line in my right screen i'm not parallel with the line here and the other way around that is how off the in-game mirrors actually are oh we did it let's park this damn thing right in time Right. Left. <laughs> I'm going to drive to my garage and um that's going to be it for today. Drive, drove, driven. Come on. Let's go. You see, it it, it all sounds metal-ish. Like, yeah, like I'm in a tin box or something. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, I don't. Turn left. I'm gonna take you in the cold. No. I had to rhyme. get my christmas lights i really need to put that big christmas tree on the right of me yeah i did presents but maybe i should put a tree there left turn ahead, left turn ahead. we hope you have a good christmas for me and my missus i the same for you guys it's a bit early though isn't it it's a bit early, but the same from my whole family to your whole family. You have reached your destination. Why is that truck so close in my ass? Here we go, guys. A beautiful, 
beautiful death. Jingle bombs, jingle bombs, jingle bombs away. Oh, what's fine? It is too right. Wow. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Wait a minute. I'm going to, um, free cam. Yes. Forward. Yes. Turning. Yes. Up. Down. It all works properly. Cool. It all works properly. Jingle bums, jingle bums, jingle bums away. There we go, folks. You want to have a last view in my cabin? I see my right side as well, though. I have some uh, old dirty guys on my dash. There they are. If you ask me, what is that guy there in the bag? That old bald guy in the bag? Well, that is the guy that we saw a couple of streams ago in one of the uh, in one of the uh, past, not that long ago, um, in a stream of SES software, and it was a stream about 25 years uh, cool liner. The um, Crony, Crony Cool Liner that exists 25 years. Then they had that guy over from Crony into the streams, and uh, but they didn't have him over. It was Corona, so it was from a distance, if I'm not mistaken, through Zoom call or something. And that is that guy. He got his own figure now. <laughs> Came with the update for uh, the Crony trailers that we got yesterday or two days ago. So that is that guy and then we have uh, another old dirty bastard santa claus <laughs> all right this is it folks this is it have a good one ever dude see you tomorrow see you back tomorrow guys then we're going to drive this truck a little bit more and um um i don't know tomorrow i'm definitely going to look into that um browser version of the game test version for the dev trucks do some recordings and try to put something nice and funny together um and uh, enter the giveaway with the hashtag ride dev but i'm going to explain more about that again tomorrow all right i wish you all a good night i hope you enjoyed i certainly did and you will see me again tomorrow bye bye